You're about to watch a mostly unedited phone call with scammers that was originally streamed live. It may have taken place over multiple days or weeks, and some of the context might not make complete sense, but I know those of you who watch my main channel often want to see how the whole story unfolded. Sometimes it's hard to take a 5, 10, even 40 hour scam call and turn it into one hour. I hope you enjoy today's video. Administration, you're talking to Peter. How can I help you today? Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I just got an email here about a, uh, so my social security number having a problem. And it's, uh, uh I need do to, you have a case number or something? I need to something? speak with the social security administrator, please. Sir, you're already talking to the Social Security Administration office. Okay. Do you have a case yeah, number or familiar. something with you? I do. It's uh, SSL 844-48422. All right, please help me out with your first and your last name. Sure, sure. William, you can call me Bill, whatever, whatever is easier. But William is my full name. William is your last name? Huh? The phone's breaking up. William, I was saying that William is your last name or your first name? That's my first name. Okay, and what would be your last name, William? Sure, it's Jefferson. J E F E R S O N? Yes. Could you help me out with the last four digit of your social security number? Uh, the last what? Last four digit of your social security number. Sure. That's just for verification, I assume. Yes, sir. Okay. Am I some? I I, I kind of get nervous whenever someone asks about it. But uh, is there any no, other sir, way to here verify? What is happening or no? is, uh, I'll tell you, sir, we don't need the full social security number. We only need the last four because that is the password to open the case file here. That's the way it is opened up. Okay, sure. It's seven, one, six, nine. All right, William, kindly stay on the line with me. Let me go ahead and pull out uh, your case details here, okay? Okay, thank you. Welcome. <laughs> All right, well, this is interesting. So one of you guys sent this in. Uh, I've never had this via email before. William, are you there? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm here still. Okay. I've opened up your case details. It is showing up that there have been two charges pressed against your social security number. You One mean when is you say, from the FB... When you say charges, you... Uh, what do you mean? I mean it's, you, like, I'll tell you. They can't, I'll, I'll tell they you. don't do financial things now, do they? No, no, no. It's not financial stuff. I was going to uh, say, uh, that'd when I be say... a new feature. I wasn't aware. So, <laughs> not, not criminal charges or anything, right? I haven't done anything wrong. Yes. 
you have not done anything wrong. However, your social security number is being used for almost opening 12 bank accounts, which was opened in the month of April. And there've been hundreds and thousands of dollars that's been transferred from those accounts to outside United States. And there was a car at the car uh, which they got while they were investigating it. They found that the car papers were connected to St. Petersburg, Florida. They went to that address. When the sheriff went to that address, oh, Florida. it was an abandoned house. Yes. And uh, it said that it was an abandoned house. They found six pounds of cocaine there. Oh, and when they God. investigated the papers, when they investigated the papers, it was opened up with your social security details, as well as they have a replica of your driver's license as well. And that is the reason oh. while the investigation started, they came up it, with all these house? things. And like an old, it's an abandoned, like an abandoned house. In Nobody Florida. was living there. Like a haunted house in Florida. Yes, in Pe- Petersburg, Saint Petersburg, Florida. Yes. I've never been there in my life. Oh. I understand that. I understand that, William. While I was talking you to you, in the same six time, six liters of Coca Cola. What? Six pounds of cocaine. Was it a drug? Yeah. Oh God! It's like a. How does it? And it's connected to me somehow? Sir, when we checked and the investigation was going on, in the same abandoned house, we found documented uh, documents, uh, which is for the new bank accounts, which were opened. And it was in my name. And while, yes, it was in your name, it had your social security number, <sighs> as well as they found out the replica of your driver's license, which they were using in order to rent cars and booking hotels. Wow. Wow, wow. Jeez. Well, I listen. I, I'm glad you. I'm glad you have my email because that wasn't me. Uh, and I have an alibi. I understand that. I have an alibi to prove it. When did this happen? Completely, I understand. When? When did you understand? Do you have any record things? about when? About when the accounts were trying to be open? Yes, it was opened on April the 21st. the only time in the past year that I haven't been on a cruise, I'm a serial cruiser. I, I go on a lot of cruise ships. The month of April, I, okay. I, I was not on a cruise ship. But every other month this year, uh, I've been on a cruise ship until recently, until this month. I just got back. Okay. So I... If mm-hmm. it happened, you know, I got a good alibi. I was uh, on the I was on the water. Okay. When did this happen? So here, I'm not saying I'm not saying that you have anything to do with it. But what I was trying to understand, and I was trying to tell you, is that there have been certain things that was going on, and we did not want this to be affecting you. All right. So we are trying to understand and gather information so we can go ahead and uh, put those people in. Uh, Now here, what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, we will be, this call is already getting recorded by the courthouse as well as the state authorities. 
So everything that you're saying here is already on a noted thing. It's all oh. recorded. All right. Oh, so it's okay. going to be helpful uh, for you well, as well. Let the record show that uh, I'm a big fan of the government, always have been. Uh, I love paying taxes. And I think that, uh, you know, I'm, everything's perfect. And on the top of it, I'm going to give you certain names of the banks that we got here. You have to tell me if you're using any of those banks, okay? First one is Wells Fargo. Nope. Then it is Bank of America. Nope. Chase. Keep going. TD Bank. U.S. Bank. USAA Bank. Then it is showing, what one is the Santander Bank? I don't know what that is. Oh for 6. Huh. Then it is showing a Wood Forest Bank. These are the accounts in my name? Yes, sir. Wow. Yeah, I don't I don't have accounts in any of those banks. Okay. Now here as per the procedure what happens is your social security number will be frozen. Any bank accounts that is connected with the social security number it is going ahead and uh, it's going to be blocking all the financial institutions until the verification is completed, the investigation is completed. Uh, all, all the funds, everything that you would be having, it's all be frozen. No money will be coming in. No money will be wow. going out. Um, right. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I can't just not use my... I can't just not use it. Sir, the procedure time takes 180 days. That'll be six months. And right now, I am the concerned officer working on your case. The best thing that I can suggest you How is... How many days? 180 days, sir. So that'll be six months. No, I can't. What about paying all my medical bills? It's a long time. That That's is what I'm about to say, this, That's sir. Six what I'm going to do here is, yes, what I'm going to do here is, sir, uh, the funds that you have in your possession, the money that you know that you yeah. own, okay, that's your own money. You have to give us a rough idea of it, okay? We'll be speaking to the district attorney, and we would help you in a way oh, that one? we will be issuing you, issuing you a check from the U.S. Treasury for the same amount. So in that way, entire funds of yours will be like, uh, I would say, a legalized fund, okay? It would be coming from the government check itself. So that money, when you put that in your bank account, that will be like completely okay with it. Nothing's going to be bothering you anymore with that. It's so. Is, uh, is it? Is it something like? Uh, it's like money laundering, but it works, right? It is the money laundering case, sir. It was a huge thing that was going on. No, I would tell I, I you mean, the like total the amount of transactions. They see what we are going to do is, sir. We're going to convert your money into secure bonds, okay? I've been getting out of the bonds recently, but I guess I could get back into it. Okay. I can't, so I can't what we're not do have is, any of my money for six months. So you, you, you said there's a process to get no, my no, no, money no. back. See, I'll tell you. If we are not working on this. According to the procedure, the entire money gets frozen. 
but when i initiate the government check thing for you it will be coming to you in next two days all right you would be receiving it by yourself so when so you i get can the use check that thing? money all your money yes you can use that money totally use your money okay now here i want to ask you a question sir you said that you've been traveling a lot yeah so can you tell a, me that um, i've been on a bunch of cruise ships on the open water okay so, so can you tell me that um, have you ever lost your wallet or did you ever upload your documents anywhere online if you yes. remember so yes that has happened so that that's understand you know that that's totally understandable that how your documents were used yeah what okay do you, what so, do you mean somebody okay now you tell me one thing sir uh, while you were checking the email you checked it on your phone or on your computer on my computer is that an apple computer or a windows computer it's for uh, it's microsoft microsoft okay uh-huh. sir for the records here i would request you to provide me your email address once again help me out with your email address hold on i'm watching my mouse move and losing my mind please provide me your email address sir My email is av How do you spell that? Uh h a v e Okay. The After that? Uh t h e Mhm. Best B E S T Uh-huh Goats G O A T S Mhm at gmail.com All right I believe that your uh your email is currently logged in on your computer correct No I can try to get on there. Please log into your email. Uh I'm not very good at it. My grandson he set it up <laughs> on but on my on my laptop I've never been able to quite to get it working the same way, you know. Mhm. Uh okay never mind I got it. I got it I guess it just I I it deletes everything the thing is it on the computer it just deletes everything So uh okay now for the record sir can you give me a rough idea that how much money do you have in your possession Uh like a rough idea of it I don't need the exact like, amount with me right now Mhm. Like like it in person like like in my wallet. Is that what you mean? No, no. In your account, sir. Oh, oh. Uh Maybe 350? 3? like 350,000 somewhere around between the investments and the, okay. you know in investments and savings and all that right yeah 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 all that okay
let me go ahead and uh, provide you the support link here. Uh -huh. The support link is going to help you. I'm sending you a support link. Hold on. On your email, what the heck I'm going to send you a support link. link. Oh. Okay. Uh, God. So, is there any way to um? You said it was six. What was it? Six pounds or seven pounds worth of drugs? Six pounds of cocaine, sir. So what's that? Six pounds of cocaine. That's uh. Hold on. I'm trying to think of what the conversion rate is. Uh, that's like six. That's like eight dollars, or no, seven dollars, right? Seven dollars for what? Well, like six pounds, like the British pounds. Is that like seven dollars? Sir, I'm telling. I'm telling you. The weight of the cocaine. Not my joke. That goes to you guys, chat. You made that joke. That's funny. Uh, oh, I don't know. How much is... Is that a lot? That seems like a lot. I don't know much about That's cocaine. That's huge, sir. Six pounds of cocaine. You know how much is it worth? It is worth $3 million. Oh. That's it. Or six pounds? Yes. I call it BS. Huh? I I'm just saying that's crazy. It's that's a lot. It is. It is. Probably get it cheaper at Costco. <laughs> All right. Now, can you tell me that how far is your bank from your place where you're living right now? Uh, like from Costco or from from my house? Yeah, from your house. Maybe fifteen minutes, something like that. I don't know. Fifteen minutes. Yeah. Okay. Right now, I want to tell you. I'm just you, trying to figure out. You, you, do I need to call the police and kind of file like a? What are you supposed to do when you get your? I assume they kind of. They didn't just steal my identity. They like they're using my identity, right? What do they? What do you call that? Right. Um. Identity theft. Oh. I, well, it's not, but see, identity theft means they stole it. What is it called when they they use it? Is it called like identity use? Identity uh, uh, assimilate? Assimilate? I don't know. But do I need to call? Um, I don't know. What do they call it? The credit bureau? And tell them? If you're going to call anyone, sir, or if you're going to report it to anyone, I would like to tell you that when this case is already being created, every information is already out there. Okay? It is already being reported. So if I'm not concluding this case, removing your name out of it, the next thing what is going to roll up is a warrant will be rolled against you and will result in an arrest until this thing is sorted out. So I'm trying to help and understand how we can go ahead and get this thing fixed without, you know, getting you into any kind of trouble. Okay. Uh, 
I'm lost, to be honest. Uh, do I need to call a lawyer or? or... Sir, I'll tell you. There are you two had, ways you had of getting me in the it first done. Half. I'm sorry. I just do, should I plead the fifth? I I don't know what. Sir, currently you have to cooperate with what I'm doing here. Your cooperation is the best thing that would help you to get yourself out of I trouble. I wonder if this and I'm must be like new. The for you. Because they know, they've, they used to do a script sort of like this. Okay. Kindly bear with me. Um, Let me see what I can do. I think, so I think they, they did a strip like, a strip. They did a script like this in the past. And, um, Hold on one second. It was only over the phone. But now it seems like he wants to connect to my computer. Also, Here it is showing up. Maybe that, he's never uh, gotten they this also before. Used, uh, well, how, much, how much credit card? Because in the beginning, he seemed pretty confident. How many now, of them? Uh, oh, jeez. Uh... I guess maybe four, something like that. Four. Okay. And when was the last time you did any purchase using your credit card that you remember? It's mm. a good question. That's a really good question. So yesterday, yesterday when I woke up, um, ah, huh. you need to know the most recent purchase, because I I know this yesterday morning I ended up going out for some coffee with a buddy of mine, but then later. Okay. Oh, God, later in the day, I can't remember who paid though. I could, I don't know if it was me or him. <laughs> mm. Yeah, we ended up staying so long, we stayed for lunch. But I can't remember uh -huh. if he paid for lunch or I paid for lunch. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. But probably I'd say yesterday. Probably. You used it yesterday. Okay. Now yeah. tell me the cell phone that you're using. Is that an Apple phone or is that an Android phone? Rotary? The phone that you're using, the cell phone. Oh, it's called a jitterbug phone. It's for older people. Okay. And uh, the number we have here on the phone or your home phone? It's my cell. So, apart from your normal banking app, do you use anything else like Venmo, Cash App? Anything like that? Did, uh, you said you were going to email me something on my computer, right? can't remember. We are doing it, sir. We are doing it. In order for me to send you the support link, we need to have certain information before oh. we can proceed with it. Okay, what else do you need to know, I guess? I was asking you a question that do you use Venmo, Cash App, anything like that, or what PayPal, anything what is that? like that. Can you explain what that is? I don't know if I know. These are all uh, money sending and receiving I applications. I definitely have apps. If that's what you're saying. So you, I have so apps. you're using your online banking. 
Do you do online banking? I have on my computer. Okay. I have an Apple Bee. And when yeah. was Apple Bee? No, we don't need that Apple Bee. Apple Bee, I think it's for the restaurants. Yep. Okay. Can you open Google on your computer? Okay. What did you say your name was again? I forgot. My first name is Justin. My last name is Peterson. Peterson. I know that name from somewhere. Uh, okay. I Justin I Peterson. was I was awarded as the best officer in the oh. month of May. Oh, was that it in was the all news? there? Yes, it was all over in the newspapers and the news as well. Maybe I uh maybe that's maybe I saw that. Oh. Great. C congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so Officer much. Officer of the month. Yes. That's big. I bet you uh I, I bet you were pretty excited about that. Oh definitely, sir. After after seven years of work, when you get a recognition, what else could be Oh, you know, what you else we can enough. ask for? Jeez, it took you seven years to be officer of the month. Oof. That's not anything to be proud of. A long time. That's a long time. Huh. Yeah, I probably would have given up, if I'm honest. Seven years? Jeez. Well, hey, good thing mm -hmm. you stuck with it. You know, you need people like that out there. Oof. You know, I had a buddy. His, and, uh, along I have with a that... buddy. His son. He works for. Uh, what's it called? Those people that do the. You know where they go into the stores, and they go on there and do that whole thing. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, go into the stores and do what, sir? Yeah, it's a, he's sunny. He, he goes in there and then he does. A, they go into the store with the, you know, they got the, you know what I'm talking about, with the, with the, what do they call them, with the. They go in to them, like restaurants and. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's he's loving it. He's been I think it's been about a year. Okay. So pretty much the same thing you do, you know, just helping people. <laughs> okay, uh here sir, what the best thing we can do is you know I'm uh, on Google. you have to go... I opened up Google. What okay. do I do now? Type there any desk. A N Y D E S K. Any desk. It's then put a space it. and then type download. Okay, hold on. Any desk you said? Yes, any desk, then put a space and then write download. Any desk. Okay. Now, when you it's go ahead and click search. on it, mm, yes. Um. 
it says fast remote desktop application any desk app I don't know what what is this that for is opened right what is it for no no I, these are the websites I'm just trying to check that uh, what was the root cause and how did these people actually got your document all right i'm just trying to find out these ways mm -hmm. how best we can do it hold on let me go ahead and uh, send you the link first it says access now download now order now. have the best what's uh notes. it says Download now or order now. Am close I it. buying something? I'll no, you're down. not buying anything. Just close let, it. Let me download it and see if it's free. Open your email, sir. What's this thing called? Any desk at the bottom. Leave it. I'm telling you to open your email. Oh. I've sent you a link. Open your email. I've sent you a link. I don't know if I'm going to be able to open it or not. I'm telling you to open your email. I know what you're telling me. I'm just saying I don't know if I'm going to be able to open it. I can open it on my phone, I think, but on the computer? Yes, you have to open it on the computer. Okay, hold on. Oh, I see. It came from CC Care. That you? Yes, you have to open this on the computer, not the phone. All right, hold on. What's the name of the award that you got when you were in the news? I'm sorry, sir? What's the name of the award? that you got? No, oh, it was like uh, the best employee of Social Security Administration. Best employee? For Social Security Administration. I'm trying to find the news article. That's fine, let me click this link. Did you open it on the computer now? Uh, yeah, it's just loading slowly. Okay, let it come up. Did you get a hefty raise? Oh. I imagine they gave you a pretty good raise, huh? I'm sorry, sir. We're on the official call here. I cannot discuss about all those things. I'm sorry. Nah, no one's going to listen to these. They always just say that they're recorded, but no one ever listens to them. It's all for show, as far as I'm Every, concerned. Everything that we are speaking right now, it is being recorded. So, so definitely. Did I click download? <laughs> I'm not, yes, click on download. Uh, for some reason, it doesn't seem to do anything. When I click it, did you open the email? Did you open the email on your computer? Yeah, it says it says download, but then when I click it, nothing happens. It reloads the page. Uh, what does the page say? Quality services. Let me try again. Jeez, what's your favorite part of the job? Trying to help people, and when they're, I'm able to help them get out of trouble. So yes, I I find it really nice and satisfying that I'm able to help the people of the states able to serve the country well. Yep.
That's what I would have guessed. <laughs> you ever seen Sir, Scruff Did McGruff? you open your email? Yeah, but for some reason, when I click download, sir? nothing happens. So, I don't know what to tell uh, you, man. I, I clicked it. Now, when the... But nothing, it just says download, and when I click download, nothing happens. So, sorry. Look on the left-hand side, bottom of your screen. Do you see any file there? Nope. Sorry. You think maybe, um, maybe the Social Security Administration dropped the case already, or? That's not how it works, sir. I have to first provide them with my feedback on it. I have to complete the procedure. Without the procedure is not completed, the case still stays open. Uh-huh. What's supposed to happen when I click that link? Literally nothing. I feel like this might be brand Sir, new. It is getting you connected with the Social Security Administration like, server. The link on this garbage little website that he has. That is what we use in order to track any kind of illegal it's, activity. It helps like, us to no... understand what is the root I'm cause of it. How did it all start it? Of the so website that and would the help button. me to understand and find evidences so I can bail you out of this case completely. I don't know, I just... I don't know what the heck he's trying to do. Now tell me one thing, sir. Is your email open on your computer or not? Yep. It's open. It's open. So did you see that email? that I've sent yep. you, click on the link, just tap on the link. Okay, now what? Now when you tap on it, what do you see next? A button that says download. Okay, tap on it. Nothing happened. It reloaded the page. Uh, so okay do one thing sir open open a new browser open a new browser page okay like open google okay is it open uh -huh. on the extreme top there is a white long bar what is written in that it says justin peterson best Social Security Officer Award. Empty that line for me, please. Oh, well, Empty that to, box for me, just please. Just trying to find the news article. <laughs> uh, so okay. Right now, we this thing is more important. Okay? Please cooperate and understand what I'm trying to do here. And let's okay. get it fixed. Okay? <laughs> now, type there, C as in Charlie, S as in sugar. Okay. Here, C-A-R-E. Uh-huh. Okay. Open it. What do you see there? It says you open welcome. It? Join with the code. It's asking for a code. Okay, enter the code. It is I have six a... nine. Oh, say that again. Sorry. Okay. Now look on the left hand side bottom of your screen you would see a file getting downloaded there with the name of support client. Yes. Double click and open it. 
Okay. Is it now open? What? I don't really know. I'm asking you, is it open, sir? I think so. No, no, no. I was asking you when you clicked on that particular um, link. Was yeah. the link there? Uh, did now please close everything, sir. Close everything, and now go to your bank page. What do you there mean? There is a security code which will be coming in, sir. Go to your bank page. Like, how do you log into your bank? Uh, officer, you're just going to have to be a little bit more, um, what would you say? You're going to have to explain things a little better. Okay, okay. Sir, when you, know you go mean? to your bank, you just go to your bank, all right? Like the online, like you check your computer, or like you check your bank account online? Yeah. I've done that before. When did you last check that? Maybe 15 minutes ago. Okay. Why? Hold on. Now, did you turn off your computer? No. He's like, he's, no? I think we're seeing, this is the first, it's like the first time he's ever been on. You did not turn off your computer, sir? Uh, it's just... You're getting things fishy for yourself, I'm telling you. No, it just says, uh, I mean, I got my computer here. Why? I'm telling you to check your bank. Log into your bank, please. I think he got disconnected from my computer for a minute. Uh, anyway. Whoa. Did you see that pop up for a second? The, the Zell page said something about a demo. Now, um, also keep a piece banking. of paper and pen with you, okay? I've got to give you certain codes and other things. What was my name? So let that happen. William Jefferson or something? Once I want you to write down something, so you have to tie, uh, write down those uh, codes for you, okay? What do you okay? need me to write down? I'll give you first log into your bank first, sir, and let me know once you're in there. Oh, I thought you wanted me to write something down right now. Now, first log into it. Okay. Uh, I'm just looking up my password. Hold on. No problem. Take your time. Yeah. I appreciate you. You know, you're really going above and beyond. A lot of government agencies, <laughs> they don't really help. It's a real pain getting somebody to help, too. You know? That's the, that's the hard part. You know, you got questions, but they don't ever help you. You ever, you ever get that? Some bad experiences are always there, sir. <laughs> uh, that's how I feel every time I play League of Legends. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think I found my password. Let me see if it works. <clears throat> it's been a while since I... Oh, shoot, I clicked the wrong button.
They have kids. One daughter, six months old. Six months old. Oh, that's sweet. What a precious time, huh? Yes, six it is, months. Yeah. Wow. You excited to be a excited to be a dad? <laughs> is that a no or fifty fifty? <laughs> oh, fifty fifty! Wow, gee. She uh, she eating salad food at this point then? Uh, she is like uh, fed by. Her mother, my wife. Hmm. <sighs> How much, uh... Oh. Not shingles. Um. How much does she weigh? She is... I huh. think six and a half, seven. Somewhere? Yeah. Okay. Now, once you're in there, do you see an option on the top which says transfer Zell? Do you see that? Uh, hold on one sec. Okay. That's about as and six seven pounds of cocaine, six seven pound baby. Tell me, tell me there isn't some kind of crazy mystery to life, where things just kind of blend I'm together. Sorry, you know, <laughs> checkmate mm -hmm. atheists. Uh, so I I got a little distracted because. Um, I had an ad pop up for for shingles on sale, and I do kind of have to do my roof sometime this soon. But anyway, what did you want me to go to that bank page of yours, sir? And on the top of it, you would see an option that says transfer Zell. Click on that. It will be on the top. It says transfer Zell. On the bank page, sir. Yeah, I'm looking. So remember, he can it see my screen. Accounts, bill pay, transfer but, Zell. But he's going to pretend like he can't. Usually, anyway. So I'm kind of purposely just bothering him. So right next to the <laughs> accounts, it says bill pay. And right next to the bill pay, it says transfer Zell. Uh, I'm looking at my personal accounts, and right next to it, it says personal Sir, checking. Do you see? Do you Temple see savings. on the top? It says Bank of America online banking in red color on the top. Do you see that? Yes. Right below it, it says transfer Bank of Zell. Online right banking. below it. Right below it, it says transfer Hello, Zell. Hello, William Jefferson. Yeah. Oh, you mean Zell? This one. You mean Zelly? Yeah. Is that what you're talking about? Oh. Click on using Zell. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't do anything. Hold on. I'll do it for you. Hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a second. Whoa, my mouse is moving around. What's going on? Oh, it's moving around? What was that? What did you just say? Something happened on happened? my computer for a second. I've never seen that happen okay. before. Okay. 
hold on, now I'm getting it connected. I think it's yeah, a hacking mouse, activity that was going on. My mouse moved. Hold on, don't do anything. Hold on, I understand. The reason why I asked you is, this is how we understand that, how did all this activity just went on? That's just wait. security updates are, oh, okay, that's... It's, it's updating, hold maybe on. Maybe that's a good thing then, I guess. Please wait, security updates. Don't do anything. Are Don't do anything. Don't touch anything. Just wait. I mean, I can't even see anything. It just says, please wait, security updates are installed. It's, it's okay. Is it's it okay. you? Yes, sir. We are actually finding out the links. Hold on a minute here. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you. What happened is somebody hacked your details, okay? And they hacked it through the website of Amazon. Do you do Amazon? No. Uh, sometimes. Like my You've daughter, never done it? My daughter-in-law has Amazon. Okay. So, so every once in a while, I'll you go to you know go on on there with her account. But... Mm -hmm. Sometimes what happens is we go to certain websites. We uh, see. I know. Let me stop you right there. Many... I know what you're gonna say. What? We go to certain websites, and we shouldn't go to them. No, 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 no. I'm just talking about my... See. I assume Porn? if you're looking at my browsing history... Well, let me explain. Okay? It's been mm -hmm. a while. Right? The, I've been, uh, my wife passed away, I don't know, four years ago? And... Uh, I'm so sorry. It's just me and the dog. And... When the dog started, um, they said they said he had to go on like a soft, a little bit healthier diet, right? Okay. And so I just I spent so much time on there looking up corn videos. It's got to eat enough mm -hmm. corn, you know. And mm -hmm. uh, like, what do I do in my private time? It shouldn't be oh, anyone's gotcha. business, as far as I'm concerned. No, while I am not telling you anything that what you're doing is wrong or anything. By the way, he's just filling out completely normal. Zell, okay, he's trying to add a Zell recipient. But um, in these kind of websites, which we'll be able to report, there are always but... hidden trackers there. Okay. They track all your activity. Oh, uh, you're talking about the FBI? I've heard of them. Yes. So that is when these kind of things track all your details, all your browsing, all those things. Okay. So they track all of my things, and then what do they do? They go ahead, make sure that everything that you're doing is showing up there. And these things they do is they go oh. ahead and use it against you. They, um... Okay, can you hold on a second? I'm getting a phone call. Can you give me one minute? Don't pick up any phone calls yeah, right now, on. sir. Uh, hold on one second, okay? Hold on one second. You might think it's the bank, but that's not what it is.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry. Okay. How we doing? So far, it's good. Okay. Okay. Now, what I'm cool. going to do here is we we are going to go ahead and make sure that these things are working personally fine. Okay. And uh, there is another person who will be in touch with you right now on this case. His job is to protect your entire funds and your accounts so you don't get into any kind of trouble. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Uh, are you sure you want to... I mean, you you won an award for the best officer. I don't know if I want to talk to anybody else. Did they ever win any awards? Or, or no? <laughs> so everything there is, uh, you know, specific departments for every every work. Okay, so uh, my job is my job is to get this part done and get it secured. And the next officer will be helping you and guiding you how this thing is going to work. Okay. But hey, I'll I give a you question. a rough idea. So of that it. cocaine that's worth sure, a couple sure. million dollars is in my name, right? Mm -hmm. Right. It's seized. Do. So do I get like a percentage of it or anything? So first of all, the biggest thing that we're supposed to do like, is like the seizure, to protect you, you the, the, and not getting into it. Okay. Well, yeah, just transfer me to the other guy. Thanks. Or or Gail or whatever. Yeah. I don't... One minute. And I appreciate that we're just talking, you know? Sometimes when I... Get these phone calls, it feels like they're, you know, they they call you up and they're reading a piece of paper. It's like they got everything planned out. But you, I can tell this is all just right off the cuff, you know, right fresh. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. Hey. Oh, here, uh, one more thing I want to tell you. So, do I need to call them? That, uh, do I need their number, or are they going to call me, or what's going to happen? I guess they'll they'll call you right away. But before I would tell them to call you, I would like to tell you the procedure of it, so you would be able to understand it much better mm -hmm. once you'll be speaking to the other guy. No, I think I prefer and, to hear uh, it on from the other, the other person because you know that's their specialty. So. If you don't Hold mind. On. No problem. What's he trying to is he like looking to figure out? Okay, I forwarded the case. They will be making a call right now. And uh you have a pen Sorry. and paper with you? Uh, I do. Yeah. Okay. I'm giving you my direct number. Okay. You can write it down. If you need any anything you want to know, anything you want to talk about, you can call me on this number directly. Okay. Okay. Uh, Let me know once you get a call from them. Yeah, and we'll have to. Uh, you know, you seem like the kind of guy who would kind of just. I don't know. You you ever want to just pop in a Blu-ray or something at my house? 
<laughs> no. Okay. I can help you. See, there is something which is going on. Now, the next person who will be speaking to you is going to be giving you the procedure of how this check is going to come. Okay. They will give you uh, LLC details. Okay. And uh, they would provide you the information where you have to transfer the funds and the check will be coming for the same fund that you're transferring there. Uh -huh. You would get the entire funds back in there. Okay. So well, that's, hey, that's going to be helpful for the you. The next person I got to talk to is anything like you. It's. Oh, he's a nice guy. He's a nice guy. Man, am I looking forward to it. Thank you. Should I hang up or? Mm, yes, you can. All right. He'll be calling you right away. Okay. Hold on, hold on. One minute, one minute, oh. one minute, one minute. Jeez, I almost I'm just waiting up for. <laughs> okay. So uh, you're, tell uh, me here. your wife is uh, at home feeding the kid, you said, right? Yes, sir. You planning on having more kids? No, sir. Not at all. Why? One is enough. That was also unplanned. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well. Hmm. It's a, uh, it's one of those things. You know, I do got to tell you, I do appreciate you stepping up, though. I mean, that's, that's hard. It's not easy, that's for sure. That's true. That's true. You know, for me, with my uh, my first kid, sometime around the two, let's say two year two year mark, maybe one and a half two year mark, when you could have like a conversation, you know, more than just crying. I was like, right. Oh, it's a human. I mean, not that it wasn't a human before, you know what I mean, but. Uh, <laughs> okay. So here, maybe you'll change. Uh, can you tell maybe me? Maybe you'll change your mind. Is all I'm saying. You know, that's all I'm someday, saying. Someday, yeah. You never know. You might be thinking maybe we can have know. seventeen True. more of these puppies. Uh, well, seventeen's mm -hmm, a mm -hmm, lot. Mm -hmm. Seventeen's a lot, but oh yes, it is. I got seven kids myself. Okay. Wow. Uh, okay, write down his number. I'm giving you his you number. Know, you're Call a real him. good uh, role I... model for children, so it's you ought to think about. It. You ought to think about it. Yes. Please, please write down his number. Yep. Sure. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. That's the strangest way anyone's given me a phone number. And what's his name? Oh, it's like a department there. Anyone would answer that. Which department? Sir, this is the financial team who takes care of the fund security and fund transfers. So that department is not, uh, I'm not authorized to do those works. So that's why my job is to go ahead and protect the details. So I have done my part. Now, the, regarding the okay. check Good and everything, I'll he call will the do financial it. His name, team funds his name transfers is, department. Have a good rest of your day, Yeah, Justin. his name, the person, the per the person who will be speaking to you, his name is Saul Baronson. Okay. Wow. Okay. Talk to him, and if you need anything, you have.
Social Security Administration office all balance sheet. Uh, it's How just the I financial uh, and fund transfer department of uh, Social Security Administration. Yes. I this I need to talk to somebody named Saul Barron. Said, please. Yeah, this is Saul Berenson speaking. Can you hear me? Am I audible to you? Yep. Can you hear me? Yeah. Can you hear yes. me? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you very well. Do you have a case number or something? No, no. That you can refer me? I can tell you what happened now if you want to look it up in the system. Yeah, let me look up. Sounds like somebody bought, somebody rented a house in, the, in my name, and they found six pounds of cocaine or something in it. Uh, okay. And they stole my identity. I guess there's really the only option at this point is for the government to delete my identity. And yeah, all of then my I money. come to know. We are investigating and that so case. So I know I was about that case. Somebody very well. by the name of Peterson, so I will be Officer helping Peterson, you on that. Is a okay. Pretty experienced and well Can decorated officer. And then he told me to call you. Sorry? With whom you talk with? Officer Peterson. From which department? The drug department, I guess. The cocaine department? From the DA department, Drug Enforcement Administration office? I don't know. I didn't ask. But, uh, so you know hold about on. the case very well, right? Hold on what a the case hold is on. all about, so I can Let explain you hold what's on. going on. Hold on a second, I'll find out. Give me one Just second, Just a officer. moment, I come to know it's from the... Text now, subscribe. Huh. You still there, officer? Yeah. I Can guess you for, hear me? for some reason, for some reason, Justin didn't answer. Social Security, this is Officer Dominic Wilson. How can I help you? Is uh, Justin Peterson available? Justin Peterson. Okay, so you were talking to Justin Peterson, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to transfer the call to him, and there are many workers over here. Just give me a moment, all right? Okay. To protect your identity. Can you hear me? Yep. So kindly... Firstly, write down my name and my badge ID number, okay? Please write down my badge ID number. Hold on. I'm trying to get, uh, I think Justin might be calling back. Hold on. Who's calling you, Justin? I'm trying to get Justin on the, on the horn, but what's your badge number? Why are you trying to? This is uh, Mr. Jefferson. I'm speaking with, right? Yeah. What's your badge number? Yeah, my badge number is two four five eight dash 
6321589 Man, I couldn't memorize that. Uh, okay. Did you get that? And he said that you're with the fund transfer department, is that right? Yeah, I'm the senior investigation officer with the Social Security Administration. As you, as you, I believe you are a victim of identity theft, that your identity was involved in suspicious activities like money laundering. So we are here to identify and get to the bottom of this to find out about who the real you know, culprit is. identity theft is a crime. That's all. Yeah, I do know about that. But do you know who steal, steal your identity? No, I don't know yet. We don't know that either. We do, when we call you, then we come to know that you might not be the one who tried to do anything illegal. We try to investigate, and all we found is the evidence in your name, like just a house was rented under your name, but there were multiple bank accounts that were open up in your name and your social security number. Can you hear me? Yeah, tell me something I don't already know, so. Yes, so the thing, so can you hear me? Uh, yeah, I'm here. So can you please help me with your name? Yeah, this is uh, William Jefferson. I'm looking for Justin Peterson. All right, sir. Just a moment, sir. Suspended. Uh -huh. Whatever is link and are these words to coming to you for the first now. time? Are you speaking them as they? Oh, sorry. I, I'm reading Why a book. Why would you say that? Why I would you say that? I wasn't talking to you. I was reading a book. It's. Uh, I'll put the book down. I, you are reading a book. Yeah, I, I apologize. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. You're reading a book. You said. Yeah, for a minute, I, I sorry. It's just this is. I've been on the phone for an hour, and uh, I'm trying to catch up on. Yeah, a so book. you should pay attention to this call rather than reading a book right now. Sorry, yeah, trying to read up on. Sorry, I'm sorry about that. I put the book down. Um. Okay, can you give me a moment, please? Just a moment, okay? Just give me a moment, okay? I just, I need to know what to do because he told me, the officer told me you guys were going to freeze my money. Are you still with me? Yeah. So you already kept the book aside, right? Yep. Okay. Thank you. So you know that due to all these suspicious activities, you got to notice, I have to tell you that your social security number will be suspended by the end of the day today. Now you can understand that your social security number is connected and linked with your bank account, Man, this started your off, credit card, I was thinking, okay, your wow. health insurance, everything, your social security number is connected. Oh, are they okay. doing a new scam? So, this is crazy. As a result of your social security number getting suspended. But I think, I feel like we're the first person to call in. Link. I don't know. To your... Social Listen to the guy. He's like he's he's turning the page in his script. It's the first time he's ever read it in his life. And you do that, and <laughs> your bank accounts oh. are linked with the social. 
If your account will be blocked, you will not be able to write any check, pay any bill. And why, did, why is he even telling me this? There's no reason for me that, to, him to tell me all this. Like, I already know this. Do you follow me? Yeah. So if you have any authentic payments... Just for clarification, will start Justin up. said this... This call was for uh, training purposes. It was it, sorry. It was it was being recorded. What do you mean? It's being recorded for training. For, this for call training was for training that. purposes. No, recorded. I'm asking, is what the call recorded? Training? Yeah, the call is recorded. But what about the you talking about training and all that? I thought Justin said it was recorded for quality and training purposes. I was just double checking that this one is too. Yeah, it is too. Yes, it is. It is. Why? Okay. Why would you ask that? Well, I just like to know. I just like to know when my if its calls are recorded or not. Yeah, every. Federal call is recorded, hunch. sir. Okay. Okay. Oh, hold on one sec. I'm getting a call. So. Hello. 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 Yes. Justin here, William. Oh, Justin, let me add you to the other. Your life is uh, going to be on stake once the social okay, is just Okay, Justin, I got, hey, uh, Saul, I got Justin on conference, I think. Oh, you have Justin on the if, line? If you need to ask him about his, um, what was that question you wanted to know? No, I don't need to know. I need to know from you. Do you understand the magnitude of the situation that you're into? Yeah, Justin had told me that the money was going to be locked up for six months. But I, Justin, not, I'm sorry to bother you. He was asking earlier what um, what department you're with, I think. Yeah, he already knows. Yeah. He referred... He referred I transferred my this call to you. this department already, William. I Before I was transferring, I told you that uh, there are different segments to the social security. So my part was done, and then I told you, and then we... Uh, so he'll be taking care of it now. Okay. Yeah, just because he was asking... Him, right? you speak to he him? was he asking me. what he department knows me very I, well. I didn't know. Yes, from social security department. He knows my department very well. That's why he gave you my name and my number. That's why Justin gave you my name and my number. Is it you, you Saul? Me? Yeah, it's me. No, Saul, I know, I know why he gave me your name and number. You were asking which department Justin worked at, and I couldn't remember. That's all I thought you needed to know. Oh, no, no, I do know about that. Okay, you told me he was with the Drug Enforcement Administration. I think so. Some. Well, I got an email from the Social Security, but he was talking about the drugs. So. Exactly. Because this case is related to your Social Security number and your identification. So as you know that you got a notice from the Social Security Department. Okay. So you can understand that. Well, that this sorry is to bother you, Justin. It's okay. You can you can carry on with them. Okay. If you need anything, you can call me. Okay. Thanks. All right, William. All right. Thank you, Justin. Thank you, Justin. Bye. Oh, okay. nice guy. You know, he got an award a couple months back for the best officer of the year. He said, "You can tell." You know. Yeah, he's a ranking officer, no yeah, doubt yeah. about it, Justin. Keep, keep trying, you'll get there someday. Sorry? So about the financial transfer, what do I... 
He said that I had yeah, to about, take uh, let's all of the funds <laughs> in my account. And something about it that I was going to get a check, I, I don't understand that part. Yeah, let me tell you and explain you about that part, okay? Now, the money that you have in the account, as you can understand, uh, already verified your information, okay, to the department. So we know how many accounts you have, but what you verified, we found there are no accounts linked to your social security number. So we are assuming, this is just an assumption, those accounts might be bogus. As you are not aware about well, those uh, accounts, what? so it is possible there are multiple bank accounts, as you know, open up in your name, and there were wire transfers that were made out of the accounts locally and internationally. Wow. So you understand? I, I get. I mean, I don't know how it happened, but that's what Justin had told me. Uh, that's why he transferred me to you. Okay, can you and hear I've, me? I've never appreciated Audible's, yeah. you know, one and a half speed feature more than right now. Why? Um, so how do I do the... What do I do, officer? Yeah, that's what I'm expecting to do. Now, if you don't need to lose the money that you have in the account, I will be guiding you because, see, if the money stays in the account, so in that situation, you will end up losing the money. Bro. Okay. That's the bottom line. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This is if crazy. the money stays in your account, then the you phone. will end up losing the money. <laughs> I can't. This is so. Hey. If you want to secure the funds, and they're so trying. That situation, and I'm glad that they have no clue that. what to do. Because at first when I saw these that email, funds need the email to be looks pretty good. To the government that these funds and I was thinking, oh to shoot, someone's going to call. And then... any illegal activities. Because currently this is your social has been connected Am I crazy? With the this feels like drug trafficking and money laundering. So as I'm explaining you about this, so you will be able to understand what is she listening? talking about <laughs> hello i'm i'm here it's like listen we we run into some scams that are kind of if you have to bad protect that but they, money, but they go off of you, you with the trusting them holding account, and they logically don't make sense be able to secure the funds. and if you stop and you think if about you it you go oh this account, is this is terrible this is bad the funds to the government but this is this just like actually belongs to you and they are not linked with any illegal activity they're just reading pieces of paper that don't even connect to each other listen all i know is i'm really scared because I can't go without my money for six months. See, it's not for six months. If you can confirm once the social is blocked, then your funds will be frozen I, I'm just, until the time the case is I'm sitting is here right now on my iPad, withdrawal. and I'm, I'm trying to find the Bank of America phone number because I got to figure out something to do. So the bank is not going to be able to help you. That's I not the option on the table. I, gotta, I will tell you, that's I what just, I'm telling you, what you I, need I, to try and what you need to do, I okay? I can't just sit here. Because bank is a private holding company. Bank know, is a private holding company. Once this, they get a, get a notice from us, 
Once we send them a notice, they just have to this follow is, the orders I've been and on they the will phone be able to hour, freeze their account. And, I have. an hour ago, I found out that somebody's been using my name to do stuff. My good yes. name. Right? And I don't want somebody to go on the internet and type in my name, you know, maybe, and find out that I did this. You know? Let alone that I we have not lose made... all my money. Maybe I should hire a private investigator, you know? That's actually a pretty good idea. Hmm. No, you don't need a private uh... investigator. About no, no, this, because of... as I explained you that we will be helping kind you, okay? So don't worry about it. Do you understand me? Barely. Okay, so what is that you don't understand? Please explain. Um. Oh, this sounds kind of good. I typed in computer hacked. Social security, identity, theft, private investigator. And on the seventh page of Bing, it says, call our, call the social security local police FTC hotline. And it has a phone number. Okay. Hey, I'm going to... Maybe I'll call you back in a little bit. I'm going to call uh, the FTC. It says... Uh, Google, FTC, Microsoft, Dell, American Express, Bank of America, Chase, Lenovo, Social Security, local police department, hotline. Open 24 by 7 by 365. Uh, okay. Well, just to, just to be very clear with you. Yep. One call has been disconnected. I say once it's a recorded call will be disconnected. We will be able to send the notes to your bank and suspend your social security number as an effect. And once it happens, you realize what happens. Hold you on a second. Uh, really you really can learn about sec? your social and your bank account. Sorry? I'm just trying to, I'm trying to fill out a form on my iPad. Um... It's hard to do that. What kind of form are you filling out? What what kind of form? Well, if you could actually really quick. What kind it, of form asks, are you filling out? Actually, it's as, <laughs> excuse me. It's asking specifically uh, how much money. In a, oh, yeah, it's I found on the on the search results. It looks like this is the official support for. FTC, Dell, Google, Microsoft, Social Security, Local Police Department, American Express. And it says if I have any questions, I can get a risk-free consultation. Where are you? Okay. Just filling out the form uh, with a little bit of information. Where are you? Where are you looking? Are you looking for iPad or looking yeah. on? Uh, yeah, my iPad because my computer is still updating. MacBook. Okay, you're looking in your iPad, right? Not MacBook. Oh, it says someone will contact you momentarily. Okay. Well, hopefully someone from that, you know, official FTC support. Sir, do you understand me that you have already been contacted from the Social Security Department? Okay. 
I know. And I, I got made myself very that's good. Great. Nobody, no one else will be able to help you apart from our department because we are investigating this case. Okay. Uh. Okay. That's why Hello. you got connected to the current department Hello. so we can help you. So if you're any expecting that any it's third just, I, I, agency will be able, able to help you, so you are wrong wanna, about it. I don't Once know. your social is suspended, I don't know what it is. then not even it's a lawyer can help you. You can understand that, that that are the court orders, okay, to suspend your social. Mom. And you're suspended. <laughs> uh, and you, you got the notice I about feel like it in Tony's the email voice is as deep. well, as you know that. My name is Officer Thomas Kent. Hold on. Let me think about uh, if I if I can do a. Are you with me? No, I'm not with you, Mr. Jefferson. What's my name's FTC Frank. Oh, it's a very low voice. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm here. I'm here. So why are you going blank? Why are you going blank? Um, me on a mute. I'm trying to call this other number. What number? What is that number you're trying to call? It's like a official FTC, Bank of America, Dell, Lenovo, American Express hotline. Uh, um, oh, one hotline number for everyone, America, Lenovo, yeah, and everyone like, has I guess it's one like the contact universal, number? It's like a government-approved one or something. Because yeah, normally I talk like this. For, so what exactly I guess I could call like yeah, Let's talk about that because see, we uh, it's going to sound too similar. To help you in this case, uh, it's FTC. Yeah, I guess I could call you. I you I don't did. seem it's to like, be serious about this. Is Officer Thomas Kitch called in? Mr. Jefferson. Oh. Hello. I'm here. Keep putting me on a hold or mute. No. Are you willing to work with the department or do you want to take your chances? May I know about it? Of course Please. I would. Tell of me course about I it. would. I'm just trying. I you keep asking work, you guys you what to, to do and then, then, then no one's telling me. That's the part that's hard. So that's what I am telling you. Oh, that oh, okay. If you Hold on, have I'm to phone, secure I'm your phone money, call. then you need to... Hold on one second. Um, can you hold on one second? I'm going to call. Legal account. He will provide you. Wait, what? Huh? S uh, say that again? I said about a legal holding account. Holding an account. Can you... You have a legal holding account that you're going to give me? Yeah, and you can secure the money in that account. Okay. Where is it? We will create that for you. If you're willing to secure the funds that you have in the account. Yep. You see, you have investment as well, and you also have uh, your checking and savings are all linked with social. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Wait, he hung up. What? Oh, my gosh. I thought maybe he was going to give me a count for a second, so I thought, well, I'll wait. I was just going to do something crazy and get, like, another scammer on the line, but this is... Yeah, this is too much. Saul Baddinson, how can I help uh, you? So I think we got disconnected there. You, you weren't talking. Yes, we got, I believe so. Okay.
Uh, so you're going to give me some sort of account then, huh? I will email you the information for the account. You will take that information over to the bank. Okay. And you will request them to make a wire transfer for the funds. You're yes. going to email me Hello. right now? or? No, I will email you when you agree to the terms and conditions, when you understand what exactly you got to do at the bank. Then yeah, I, will I email think I you. agree to okay. the terms. I just, I got the, I got, someone keeps calling me. So, just trying to. So if you agree, if you agree to the terms, then I will be able to work with you. Okay. So I did not understand what what request you submitted online. You said you filled out a form and you submitted it online. Yep. Okay. Is everything okay, officer? Is uh... everything is fine? Why? No, it's just you sound. Uh... Never mind. I mean, I, we only just met, so I don't want to be too presumptuous. Is that the word? Presum? I don't want to presume anything. No, it's not about that. It's not about presuming. But so can we uh, resume this, or should I talk to these guys? I'm getting, I keep getting calls from, I think it's the, I filled out a form for the uh, official FTC, Dell, Microsoft, American Express, you know, and they keep calling me, so I think I might just, you know, hear what they have to say, because I don't know. No. It seems like maybe you're not sure what to do, I guess. So that's happening, to be honest. What? Okay. That will not happen. That will not happen. What won't happen? Okay. If you're going to talk to someone else, then this will not be helping you. It will not help. Uh, well, we can help with pretty much anything. You know, we got uh, experts with computers. Because we got experts with the taxes. We got experts with the government. Amazon you know, you got a laptop. We got that. We got everything. Police stuff. Uh, we had a guy. We had a guy call in this morning who was trying to figure out how to fix something with his car. We could probably figure that out too. But we're kind of, yeah, officially the government. Yes, we officially work Mr. with the government. Jefferson, can you hear me? Hello. Uh, hello. Are are you there? I got you on conference. Uh, yeah, I'm here. I don't. I I don't understand. What do you mean conference? Uh, well, this these guys have been trying to make sense of everything. So what is this conference? Could you sort of just explain what exactly it is you do? Like you kind of do everything, right? You you work. On your computer, sound uh, well, we can like help with pretty everything. much anything. You know, we got uh, right. experts with computers. We got experts with the taxes. We got experts Excuse with the government. Me. You know, you got a Excuse laptop. Me. We got that. I'm we saying, got everything. Can you help police stuff specifically? With uh, we had a guy. We had a guy call in this morning. Who was trying to figure out how to fix something with his car. We could probably figure that out too. But government. government. Yeah, officially the government. Yes, yes we officially work with the government. Well, so I have a member from the, uh, Soul. where, sorry, where are you from again, officer? Well, I mean, you don't have to call me an Social officer security. if you don't want to. No, I have an officer on the line. Uh, Saul, Saul is his name. Oh, oh, hello? Someone else is on the call? Hello? Hello? Yeah, hello. Uh, oh, hi. How are you? Your your name is Saul uh, Berenson. Is that correct? I correct. And he's working with the uh, Social Security Administration. 
Okay, let me write this down. Hold on. You know, we've done a, you know, I had a, I worked there once for a while, for like six months. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I've worked everywhere. Uh, social Security. How do you spell that? I see. It's, yeah, it's fine. Uh, okay, so what's the situation? You know, I, I, I could probably help you guys out. Uh, well, they found somebody. Oh, he just hung up. This guy can't. He's not going to be able to do anything. He's just too. They're just little babies. Uh, we got th we got disconnected there. Uh, I don't know if you're still there, so got disconnected. Yeah, I'm cool. Yeah, uh, honestly, sorry. I don't know sorry. if you need to talk to him because I can probably do all of it myself. Uh, well, what is he? Can you do yourself? Who are you? Specifically, works for the Social Security. Well, I have a lot of people I know, and it sounds like this guy might. I don't know. He could be just making everything up. You never know these days. Well, I, I don't know. They found... What do you mean by that? They found a bunch of making records. Up. A bunch of records and you say, in my you name. And you say you work everywhere? You work in Social Security as well? Of course I do. I work What's for the government. I, I be, my dad is... Uh, you might have heard of him. His, my dad's Joe Biden. Oh, really? Joe Biden? Uh, like the Joe Biden? Yeah, he owns Blizzard, too, so I could probably get you banned. Huh? Never never mind. Listen, I, sir, I think you should hang up on that gentleman, and I can get whatever it is they told you. I'll be able to take care of it. Um, okay. I, How will you take care of him? Well, let me ask you the same question, huh? How are you going to help him with the problem? Yeah, because I work for Social Security. I will take care of know, him. Don't worry about that. I'm looking okay, up his name right it. now in my records. And do you know what it says? I gotta, it says that you're I in just, big trouble. I, I, I can't it sit said, here. Oh, don't it, cry, it, sir. You know, or, it's okay. I can swallow it all. I know. I know. <laughs> he's just giving up. He can't do. He's just like hanging up. There's nothing, which is fine. I mean, he, he's. Uh, I don't think there's much these guys can do anyway. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. It's an, we probably caught them. On one of their first days, it was probably one of the first times they've ever talked to somebody, which is great. Hopefully, they won't be successful. It's not like we want scammers to be successful anyway. I imagine that these masterminds put together kind of a new-ish scam. They they bought a list of potential victims and they emailed people, and I've never seen that exact script before never seen that email one of you guys sent it in perhaps we were one of the first people who ever got on a bank and transferred to another officer because the, the dude had no clue no idea what he was doing um which is like i said it's good uh hopefully that means that they're not really going to be scamming anybody <sighs> they had me in the first half there was a, a minute where I was like, wow, this is, this is interesting. Um, maybe they'll, maybe they'll, <laughs> maybe they'll do something new. Maybe they'll do something special. So figured we'd wait it out, but yeah, they felt, they fell off. Um, <laughs> for sure. They're probably still on my computer. I, I think I'm just going to call back and say like, all right, um, I guess I actually don't need your help or something and then just be done with them and we'll call someone else I 
probably won't even answer now. It's gonna be like, be sad. The text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not a. The text now subscriber you are trying to reach. You gotta quit while you're ahead. Text now subscriber you are huh, trying to reach is not available. Please leave your message. Doesn't really matter. Maybe they just know it's over. Oh, this is the main number, and they're not answering either. Social Security oh. Administration, this is Officer Dominic Wilson. Uh, hey, Dominic. How can I help you, sir? How's it going? Everything is going well, sir. How can I help you? Uh, you know, I just wanted to call and let you know that my case is, uh, it's over for now. All right, so can you please elaborate about your case? Uh, I'm the guy who somebody, they made a bunch of bank accounts in my name and had six to seven pounds of cocaine in a house in Florida. Okay. You know, that guy. Okay, so I have uh, read about this case my seniors are talking about. So it's your case, right? Yeah, I don't know if you want to get... Um, if Justin is available, but I think it's, it turns out the case is over now, I believe. Okay, so what did the officer say? I just want to let you case? know, I just wanted to let you know that because I don't want you to have to waste any more time on it. So, um, all right, sir, no problem. If you have any problem or if you have any query, you can just contact us, okay? He was trying to give me an account. I don't know if you have that account, because we won the case. Okay, just a moment, sir. The officer, the officer is here, and he was oh? telling me about something. The case is not over yet. Oh, it's not? Can I talk to him? No, sir. Yes, sir, please talk to him. It's urgent. He just texted me now. He told me, please advise. Please help him. Let him know that this case is not over yet. Okay. Well, can I have the bank account to wire all the money to, or no? Sir, he will be helping you with everything after, no, after okay? Because he's the most experienced person over here. I don't here. think he all can. Right? He's actually... No. Uh, which officer is it? So it's Justin Peterson. Oh, Justin. Yeah, I'll talk to Justin. How do I get on... Uh, okay, Justin's direct line number, or do I have? I have, I have to ask him to call you. You have it. So please call, otherwise I will have to ask him to call you. Yeah, I'm trying to call him okay, right now. Sir? He's just not answering. He will be. Yeah. So how long have you been working for the government? Now subscribe. for three and three and three year and four months actually. Cool. And where are you located? Baltimore, Maryland. What time is it? Beg your pardon? What time is it? Your voice is breaking. What time is it? Oh, what time it is? It's let in, me check. 
3 36 I was PM. asking what time is it in Texas? Can you hear me? Uh, we are situated in Baltimore, Maryland. I know. And right I just, now I just wanted to know what time, it, what time it is in Texas. So for that, I have to look. So we are situated in Maryland, Baltimore. Oh. Okay. okay. So you want to fine. know the time of Baltimore? No, I don't care. Okay, sir. So I'm going to ask the officer to call you, okay? Yeah, he's not answering. I keep trying to call, but... Okay. Uh, can you just turn? Can you just write down that my account, my case is solved? I guess. Just give me a moment, sir. I'm working case. Yeah, just write down. Um, I got a really sick deal on identity theft <laughs> coverage. Never mind. You're uh, not feeling well. I'm feeling fine. I just can you just write down okay, that so I donate. Okay, so your case I beg your pardon. Just write down I don't need any more help from the officers. You know they they look they worked so hard on it, but I found out that they I found out that I told them the wrong name. Okay, so by mistake or intentional, you have yeah. I accidentally told him my name. You see, I had I had a serious concussion a couple months ago, and I had given you the wrong name. So. Okay, I understand. Yep. No problem. So take care of your concussion. Yeah, I also gave you the wrong social security number as well. Yes, sir, I know that. I know that. Because Sorry. I have checked that on your file. Whoops. No problem, Sorry, sir. And no problem. You can do time. one thing. Would never want no, to do that. No problem, sir. You can just do one thing. Yeah, I understand, sir. So you know, want to know where we guys located? Nope. We are located in Nigeria. Is this a... Black people. Is this a self-report? Are you telling me... You're not actually here in the United States? Yes, sir, sir. Exactly. What do you we mean? We are in Nigeria. I mean that Is I was this... just trying to prank in Balti, you are just having fun with you, nothing else. And one more thing you can do about this your person is hit your head hit your head on the wall. Exactly, bitch. <laughs> What is he? He's so. Oh, man. That's nuts. That escalated very quickly. That woke him up at the end. <laughs> he, the guy was. They were all falling asleep, and then. <laughs> I love how they hang up at the end, too. Like. Uh. Justin here. How can I help you? Oh, hey, Justin. It's uh, it's me. Uh, William. Yep. Yeah, you were speaking to the other person. What happened? Told me you guys were pranking me. He called me a female dog, and then he hung up. So I'm trying to figure out hey. what the heck he's talking about. I did not get you. Yeah, you said that you're not actually in Boston, and that you guys have been pranking me. Why would what what the heck is he talking about? Why would you say that? I don't know. He. I'll report him. He should. He has no rights to talk to a civilian like this. Do you think it's possible it's right. what he's saying is true or? No. No, 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 no. Oh. It's not at all possible. He should not be saying that. 
Do you have a bank oh, account that I can that? use to wire the money? That way, if I send it all to the government, they'll be able to send it back to me in the form of a check a couple days later, and it'll completely clear my name of any suspicious and or completely illegal situations, and then I'll be able to put it in my bank account and won't be in trouble anymore? Right. So that's uh, what. What did he say? Actually, I, I I'm like uh, a little bit confused. Why? What? What did he say? Do you have? Why did he say that? Does he count? <clears throat> Excuse me, I have allergies. What account? Well, the other officer Saul was saying I needed to wire the money to on a secure account that he was making. Okay. You have that or no? no? We don't do that. Oh. Okay. He is not at all following any instructions. What's the Let normal me... instruction, I guess? What's the... Hold on a minute. First of all, let me report you to the senior. What do you normally do to safeguard the funds at the Social Security Department? There are many ways of doing it. Can you name one of them? Uh, basically, what we do is we... Uh, there are wire accounts, but those wire accounts are not the one that would be giving any kind of uh, instructions or anything there. So, but, uh, that can you name one? Hold on. I'm just trying to, because I mean, that's what you told me I was going to have to do. And then you transferred me to Saul. But. Can you hurry okay. up? Uh, how far is your bank of. How far is your bank of America from your place? Four minutes. Okay. Do one thing. I'll get the best thing to do there. You go to your bank. Okay. And Excuse me. Is that a drive-thru or what is it? Is that a drive-thru or what is it? Uh, I mean, it's three minutes if I cut through the back of the apartment complex. It's like, it's an actual building, you know? It's the, it's the real deal. Okay. All right. Do one thing. Go there. Withdraw only ten thousand dollars out of it. Why? Okay. Don't withdraw the entire funds. I will tell you the best way to get it done. Once you withdraw it in cash, there is a government ATM. I will find out the location. You have to punch that money in that machine. It's gonna give you a slip. Before giving you that slip, it's gonna take a picture of you and your driver's license. And instantly when you get that receipt, you have to help me out with the receipt number. And once I get the receipt number, we'll punch that same 10,000 back into your account. And I will attach that receipt here, stating that the funds have been properly, uh, you know, verified. And the source of the funds are nothing to do with any kind of, uh, uh, let's say, laundering activities or anything. Okay. So that way, your entire account will be secured. You don't have to uh, move your entire money out. Okay. Great. Okay. That sounds now, like... one more thing I want to tell now you. Now I can tell why they gave you an one award. One more thing I want to. Makes perfect sense. Sorry? Okay. I'm going to go. Uh... Actually, you know what? I already have cash on me, so. Want me to just go to an ATM? How much cash do you have? 
Can I just go to an AT? Is it How like, much cash do you think? I don't know. How uh, much cash do you have? At least, I mean, maybe a thousand dollars, seven hundred. I said you have to withdraw ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars. That is what I'm going to put here. Why in God's yes, name would I transfer ten thousand dollars for a verification? You know. What, the last the time I did a verification, the normal, normal they, sent me, they sent me like less than one dollar in two transactions to verify that it was my account. Like 15 cents and 98 cents. That is cents. a different thing, sir. I got, I got $10. A dollars. I got a $10 bill right here. I'll, I'll send that over to you guys for verification. Jeez. So this is the procedure. Normally, you know, what we do is the entire funds has to be verified and moved back in. What the heck are you talking about? I don't want you to be about? going ahead and entire funds. Normally? Normally when somebody... Huh? Their identity is stolen so and, let's do it and this somebody way. opened up let's, 17 let's bank accounts and bought a bunch of cocaine with their name... You have them send ten thousand dollars to you normally? No, not to us. Not to us. Okay. I am trying to protect I'm, your I mean, account I'm already from verified, getting fees. Okay. I have a check mark. So that's totally up to you, sir. I am just giving you the best thing that I can help you with. If you're okay with it, we can proceed, or else we will go ahead with the seizing procedure. So if I don't send ten thousand dollars to a government account, you just take all of my money. It's gonna seize up, yes. Can you take ten thousand dollars right now? How do you want me to do it? I don't know, just to verify it. We can uh, do it in this way. We can uh, wire it. You can wire it. Once you wire it, you have to call your bank and authorize the transaction. That is another way of getting it done. Okay. What's the account but I got to wire I don't wire think into? wiring will be... Well, I don't think that it is you know, a good idea to wire it. Why? It's best that you can pull out the cash by yourself. I'm not going to go Why get do you cash want to out of the go bank. Ahead? I don't trust cash. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Besides, at this point, it's basically some here. cost fallacy for me. I gotta, I gotta do the wire. You know what I mean? Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me go ahead and do it. Hold on. What do you mean you're gonna do it? I said, let me generate the account. How would I get it? Let me get it. I don't keep all these things with me every time. Uh -huh. Hold on. We have to just go ahead and see. What is the best thing that can be done right now? I mean, if you just give me the account information, I can do it on my iPad. It's not hard. Do it on your iPad? Sure. Why not? But in order, see, I'll tell you, when you do it on your iPad, it has to be done. Okay, you can do it. Hold on. Let me just see what I can do here. Give me a minute. Tell me one thing, how far is uh, any Walmart or anything from your place? Uh, two minutes. Two minutes to the Walmart? Yeah. I live right across the street. Okay. Do one thing. Let's do it this way. Uh, you go to the Walmart. Over there in the Walmart, you would uh, you know that there is a gift card section there, right? Let's not get all these uh, big amounts or anything there. 
you do one thing you go there uh get two cards 200 each for ebay i think that is the best thing that can be done in 400 we can get the things done here you don't have to be waiting for such long transferring doing this and doing that uh, can i ask you something sure uh, you have a kid right 6 months old yes sir how much money do you need sorry uh, just tell me how much money you need this is sad man i need any money just tell me just be honest with me cuz this is this is shockingly sad it's embarrassing so how much do you need i'll help you out Is everything okay with your kid? Yes, sir. Or do you need money for for food or something? I mean, what's going on? So call me on my personal number. Can you call me on my personal number? Uh, sure. The number I gave you. Oh. I just can't do it anymore. I I figured I'll try to have a serious conversation cuz like this is insane. But go for, he wanted me to wire all of my money and then $10,000 in cash and then $500 worth of gift card. Come on, bro. This is this sucks. This is insane. But Also, I don't know what happened to this. Hey there. Yes, sir. Come on, what's going on? I'm I've been around the uh, I've been around long enough to know that this is there's something crazy going on cuz initially uh, just what's what's wrong? Nothing is wrong here, sir. Why are you something you, How much money do you need? What's why are you Sorry? asking for money? Is something happening that uh, I am in need of some money, sir. Yes, that's true. But I cannot ask anyone just like that. Well, why not? I mean we don't know each other and all that thing why would we still talk about all these things i guess it's just your plan to steal it doesn't seem to be working either so you might as well just ask i feel bad for you you know this pretty embarrassing obviously you're pretty new to this huh what's the uh how, how long have you been doing it for maybe a year or so A year? Hmm. Does your wife know? No. What would she say? No one does. They might not be happy about it. That's for sure.
Did you end up making any money doing it? No, sir. Honestly, I I wanted to you know do some of my own business or anything. But things didn't add up good. I started a small customer service. I thing. do believe that he hasn't made any money. Um, but... I didn't have a good client, and uh, you know things didn't work properly. Uh, ended up busting my entire savings and everything. And got a loan, mortgage, everything to get this thing settled up. But that didn't work. Yeah, I've had some uh, failed businesses. Or things that didn't go quite my way. Right. It's hard, huh? All I require is a rock. All I require is a person whom I can trust with this business thing. I have, you know, a lot of good ideas for customer service and all that stuff. But in order to do that, you need to have an LLC, formation, all that thing. But, you know, in order to start it all over again, it requires big money. And I'm nowhere in a position to get that money. But I'm sure if I'll get if I'll get something of a good help or a good support. Oh shoot! I was about to I'm use sure my real I, voice, I know but that. I now I feel like he's to trying to con in me into helping him set up a business. A good living. What's the uh, business idea? Uh, it is uh, basically for online computer support, antivirus, printers, and all that. People who face uh, trouble with their printers, their printers not working. Well, that's a that's a and, uh, idea that no one's ever done. And uh, then, if the computer is running slow, it's an old machine. So there are a lot of uh, residual files which are on the computers, which uh, normal users does not know. That's why it slows down the machine. So, yeah, there are a lot of online things uh, while providing supports and all that. It's kind of a business where, you, uh, you know, we can go ahead and... Do you mind looking at my sorry. computer really quick? I'd love to see the, how you... you know, maybe if you do a good job, I'll invest. Okay, sir. Just give me a minute. That's a lot of prefetch files, huh? Yes. Who installed all these things, sir? Me. Any desk, any desk, any desk, any desk, any desk, any desk. I get quite a, quite a bit of use oh. out of this computer, so... Think of this like a like a shark tank, you know, just show me your stuff. Thank you. 
roof. So, uh, what would your wife say about your business idea, you think? She's happy. This is something that I wanted to do because it's, you know, honestly speaking, William, I, I'm doing this and I'm not happy about it, honestly. There has not been a day when I don't feel the guilt in me. I'm not doing something right. But, you know, I never had any kind of support. Let's say my father, he never supported me. No one did. So at that particular thing, a lot of things went upside down. I wasn't able to go ahead and uh, do anything. You know. Then uh, I am a Christian. My wife, she is a Hindu. We got married. And then... A lot of things happen, you know, her father, her family, my family, they don't talk to us. A lot of things just, it, it, didn't, it didn't go the way how I expected it to. Hmm. I'm sorry to hear that. That's, uh, that doesn't sound easy. You know, working for someone and then not finding the proper way where you actually wanted to go, you wanted to go ahead and, uh, you know, I, 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 I don't have that kind of uh, big hopes or big things in me. All I think about is, you know, just to go ahead and uh, make sure that my family is happy. I'm able to go ahead and make them proud about it my kid, my wife. That's what but you want to, sometimes, that's what you want to do, you're saying. Yes. But a proper for the past, investor, a proper, for the past year, you've been proper person doing this. Not, not even a year. I would say it is six, seven months. Uh-huh. I I don't I don't feel like doing it, honestly speaking. You know, if if this was the thing that I wanted to do or I was happy doing it, I would have you know I would have never made you talk to any third person. If I wanted to do anything wrong, I would have talked about the transfer. I would have tried to initiate it and do all those things, which I don't want. But then you did try to do it. I saw that, you know, when I was talking to you. And there have been a lot of cases, you know, when I'm talking to people. And when I talk to them, I deep inside, I feel, no, he is a good guy. He is a good guy. I should not be doing it. Now, when it is all done... And uh, there are certain times when it happens, like a person is speaking to me, I'm speaking to him, he's ready to make the payment, he's ready to do everything, but I don't feel like doing it, I drop it then and there. I don't talk. Uh -huh. Now, do you, do you see this? It's verifying all your files here. Thank you. This is the only one software that you require in your, uh, in your computer. It's a free software. You're not. You uh, can use it in every you're not every ten to twelve anything, days. Are you? Because it's kind of if you're paid to say that. I'm sorry. Nothing. Um. So, what do you tell your wife that your job is? Nine to six, office job, working as an accountant. 
Mm. Have you made? Do they? There they were many times. You, do they pay you at all, or is it only when you scam someone? I work on a Saturday. Have you been able to scam anybody? See, normally I'll tell you, uh, they don't, uh, like there are uh, different ways, you know, uh, I talk to the customer and then I transfer the call. I don't do the transfer part and all that. That's mm. not my job. They but just you, tell me to speak to the customer, the, you talk do the to them, part. and then transfer. I only talk to them and I transfer the call. So after that, I don't know how they do it and all that. I don't know about it at all. Is it because it's a little bit easier not being the guy who actually takes the money? But one or the other way, I am involved in it, right? Yeah. That is something which does not let me sleep properly. Mm. Ever since I started working, I don't know, I don't remember any day that I've slept eight hours. Never. Man, I can't imagine, uh, you said you got married, and then both your families kind of... They didn't want to talk to you. My dad had a good business. My dad had a good business. He's into uh, garments exporting. He exports uh -huh. garments to Germany, Sweden, and all that place. Uh -huh. And then when you got married, your both her family and your family, they were upset. Right. Probably felt pretty uh, betrayed, huh? Yes. What do you think your wife would think if she found out you've been lying to her every day? She'll be upset. Really upset. I know that. But I don't. I don't just want her to find out. Uh -huh. And uh, if I'm getting a good chance to start my life over with good things, I'll be happy to do it. More than happy to do it. You're working from home. Yes, sir. Or someone's home, I guess, because she's obviously your wife can't hear what you're doing. How about how about we I make don't, a, uh, How often do you get calls? Weekly, three, four times. Hmm. What if instead of transferring them? Would your would your uh, senior know? Would Saul, if instead of transferring them to Saul, if you transferred them to me, would he know? Would he be mad? Uh, transfer about what kind of transfer are you saying, sir? Well, uh, instead of transferring the call to Saul, what if I paid you to transfer him to me? Or are they logging the calls? So what, uh, in that case, what we can do is we can, uh, if, if I'm, I'm not saying it, I'm just be like uh, open with you. I'll say that, uh, you know, if you help me to start this work, okay, no, I, I can quit with them. Uh, what I mean is, is it possible that in, that we could if save, I, if I if paid working, you to save these people instead, would you get in trouble? That's what I'm asking. Uh, 
save uh, what people sir. The customers is so when when you get a call, you said you get a couple calls a week, right? Is it recorded? Sir, you're telling me that uh, we will be doing the same thing, but rather than getting people scammed, we will try to protect them, right? If I understood you correctly, is that what you're trying to say? Kind of, yeah. Sir, if I'm working for them, and then if I'm doing this, I will be in trouble. Oh. Because right now, when you're talking to me on this personal line, they don't have an access to it. But the number that you called earlier, yeah, every single call, they have the recordings for it. Mm, right. There is a person, like a technical person who sits there and he monitors all the call from there. What if? What about the computer screen? Do they watch the computer? No, not my computer screen. They can't. Well, I was just thinking, could you could you have typed something on the computer? I typed something on the computer. Okay. What about this? I have another idea. When you get a call yes. sometime this week, right, and you're going through your mm -hmm. script. What if you mm -hmm. text me, uh, you just give me their information, and I'll take care of the rest. Information, information way, of those way, people? If I call them and I tell them what's going on, and they hang up the phone, you don't get in trouble, and your boss doesn't know. We can do that, sir. And then, uh, you know, if things go well, who knows? That'd be cool. Sir, I have cleaned up all the files, uh, which were the residual files. I have Thanks. cleared out everything. Thank you. Hey, you know what? This is, show your, up everything. this is your text now number, right? Can I call you? Maybe I'll yes, call sir. you in a little bit. Okay. Okay. Sir. And we'll work out a we'll work we'll work out some kind of deal. Okay, sir. So you'll be calling me. Sure. Okay, sir. How, mu how much longer will you be around for? Uh, this phone is with me. You can call me anytime. Uh, at my place, uh, right now, where I'm at, it is yeah. midnight, two o'clock. Right, right. So I will be, I will be available till let's say four thirty or five. Okay. All right, I'll call you. I'll call you in a little bit. I'm ready to. Sure, sir. What were you going to say? I was just saying, you know, if you can, if you're talking to me and if you trust, and if you help me to start up a genuine business, I can tell you, sir, making money, that is something I know about this business. The one that I'm working on your computer right now, fixing okay. things. We should probably I've talk been about doing that. this for quite a long time. Um, at some point, because I'm not really sure. I uh, I don't know about that business, but um, I don't see. I'll tell you, sir. I'll, 
you don't have to do anything okay i'll tell you you just have to register an llc you have to open a bank account and uh, i would develop a proper business website for it now when you go to your bank uh, let's say bank of america yeah. you go to them with your llc papers show them the website and tell them that uh, we are giving this support and this is our website and we need a payment gateway for it uh in that payment gateway customers would be able to purchase our support they would be able to buy it using their credit or debit card online listen, by themselves I, listen so, man i got to be honest with you i know i know how that thing works i know the printer support thing or you connect and you say oh we'll run the tree command and you look at the stop services and you clean the prefetch files and say you got to pay 300 bucks to you know fix things up is that what you're talking about sir uh we don't even uh, think about only one single packages I am basically working the one year, and my plan three is to year, work for AMC. Yes, the AMC part, the annual maintenance. Yep. Generally we'll get companies who have 12, 15, 14 computers which they require Listen, maintenance man, for. That's it. not that doesn't help anybody. That's it's almost the same exact thing. Sir Now here the question is when you are working on your printer and your printer is not working if there is a problem uh-huh. I'm not asking the money before fixing it but once I fix it you test it you say okay Justin now it's working fine Now when you will tell me that it's working fine then you're going to pay for the service you're not paying it up front Okay Well I mean we can work that out later all right it's not just I've had some bad experience with that in the past but um... Yeah, I I'm all about listen, I don't want people to get scammed. Okay? I don't want people yes, to think that they're in trouble with the social security department. Why are a bunch of money or whatever it is? That's people are losing their life savings. Their whole families are getting ruined because of that stuff. So, I don't know how they pay you to sit around all day just to get four calls a week is that what you said you get four calls a week uh like uh in one week we work from monday to saturday yeah they give me uh sometimes they give me calls on monday then they would give it on wednesday then they would give it on friday that's how they work and how many calls do you get each day uh 15 to 20 oh were you saying you only get a couple a week that are willing to potentially give money yes oh honestly as i told you earlier sir okay uh, i really don't know the customers are paying them or they're not paying them how much are yeah. they paying i actually don't know about it my part ends when i transfer the call to them my right. part ends there so since i'm an employee so i don't have any right to ask them questions they're paying me uh-huh. a salary i'm working for it and that's it okay so what if on um, speaking when i what if the person uh, it was transferred i really don't know how much money did he talk to you about what is the procedure he told you to do i don't know about it until you told me about it. oh yeah i mean they, they just well you know that you don't actually work for the social security department but their goal is to steal as much money as possible they want to be to wire all of my money to them all of it let's say uh for working for them all i get paid is like uh, let's say $800 a week that's what they're giving me if i if if And they would have stolen all trust. my money would you have gotten a cut 
No, sir. I told you I'm working on a weekly basis. They pay me my money. I really don't know how much are they taking, by what means are they taking it, how are they taking it. I have no idea about it. 800 uh, USD? Yes, sir. 800 USD. A week? A week, yes. Basically, what they do is, sir, uh, in a week, they are giving me work uh, for three days. And uh, let's say if, uh, and they pay me uh, according to the number of calls. Uh, basically, I would say the number of transfers that I make. So let's say if today I have made like uh, 10 transfers, so I will be getting 150 Shut up, chat. today. He's probably lying anyway. And that's how they calculate it. Don't say sign me up. But it does potentially, I mean, we've talked before about, oh, I'll, hold on. Huh. Well, uh, okay, so are you working tomorrow? Yes, sir. So what if when you're talking to somebody and they start believing you and you do you always get on their computer or their phone? Yes, sir. What if once once you're on, you know, someone's computer and they're you're getting ready to transfer? Uh, instead, you, at that point, you text me. And you say, hey, here's their, uh, you know, here's like the team viewer or any desk stuff. And here's their phone number. And uh, I'll handle it. And then if if we're able to stop some people, we can work something out. Okay, sir. I'll do that. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, uh, I mean, I'll be around tomorrow. Uh, I'm a little... I guess we'll see. I guess I'll see if I'll uh, get any texts from you. But... Maybe you could be on the good side, huh? Yes, sir. Okay. Well. Nice talking to you. Same here. Hopefully, I'll hear from you tomorrow. Sure, sir. All right. Okay. Bye, sir. This is your... You have my number, right? One zero one two. Uh, you have WhatsApp or, or you just do the text now stuff? Only text now, sir. Okay. All right. Well, then I'm gonna put this. Uh... Yeah, you call. Listen, if you want to call me tomorrow or text me whenever you got something, because I want to see. I want to see if we can help someone. Okay. And, um, I don't know. I just don't want you to have to. Eh. We'll talk some more, okay? Okay. 
I'll call you soon. All right. Bye. Bye bye. Eh, I don't know. Yeah, I tend to be pretty optimistic about things, so <laughs> I I'm trying not to be cynical. I like I don't know. I'm not convinced. And he could just be saying that, but he does seem a little emotional. Uh who knows? Right? Might as well you miss a hundred Michael Scott told me that Wayne Gretzky once said, You miss a hundred percent of the shots you never take. So <laughs> why not? Right? The whole thing uh the whole thing, that whole call was like nuts. They clearly don't really know what they're doing. Um, but I believe parts of it, like I would, I don't think that he, he doesn't strike me as the kind of guy. I've talked to some, uh, I've, I've talked to some scammers who have just been like scary people. I think that I have, um, met some sociopaths some some people who just like lack all empathy i don't think that guy i don't think that's the case with him but who knows right like i'm not really this is the wrong music for the setting read the room kid oh he smokes um but i don't know i mean it's not like he's gonna tell me his life story and everything about him when I randomly meet him and call him out for his scam too. So you never, he's not going to suddenly be like, yeah, let me tell you everything about my life from, from 15 and exactly everything that's happening today in my boss's name and the, where we're located. That doesn't, that's not just going to happen, but, um, I don't know. Maybe he would, uh, Maybe he would help somehow, but, uh, I don't know. We'll see, I guess. We'll see tomorrow. Just started an LLC for him. Yeah, I was trying to figure out, like, bro, don't, don't tell me that you just want to start a real company that's just a scam. Although, we've heard it before. We've heard it from dozens of scammers in the past that are like, oh, um, no, I mean, I, like, yeah, I pretend to be Dell and fix their computer, but I do actually fix the computer. I'm not like the other guys, you know? So I think to him, that's a better choice it's like less of a scam maybe it's a little bit more legitimate even though it's still sketchy but um anyway i saw some people being like don't believe him it's not gonna happen and maybe that's the case i just figured that wasn't gonna go anywhere else anyway they had, he didn't even know what to do. I do think he was, I think what he was saying was true in that it's not his job to do the actual scam. And I don't think he knows what to do. I think that's part of why he was saying like, uh, maybe we could do the wire or the cash or the cards. He was just trying to figure out any way to get a little bit of money, but he doesn't really know. Um, Anyway, yeah, we'll see. I don't know. Tune in, tune in next time. <laughs> tune, in, tune in tomorrow and see what happens. Oh, I need a new. I don't know if I can still. Social um... Security Administration. This is Officer Dominic Wilson. How can I help you? Oh, I need to talk to Justin. What do I do? Hello. Can you hear me? How can I help you, sir? Yes, I, I got a strange email from you guys. I, I I don't understand what it's saying. Okay, can you please?
It says I, there's a problem with my social security number. You're talking to Peter. How can I help you? Hello? Social Security Administration, you're talking to Peter. How can I help you? Is this Peterson or Peter? This is Peterson. Uh, Justin Peterson? Or... Who do you want to speak to, sir? I, I was speaking with uh, uh, Justin Peterson uh, a couple of days back, and we had gotten disconnected. A couple of days back? That's correct. May I know your name? Yeah, my name is Sam. Sammy Jenkins. Remember? And you were, you were speaking to him. Uh, yes. Regarding what, sir? Um, well, I, there was a problem with my social. Okay. And then? Is this him? What we were talking about uh, a case under my name, and then I had a bit of mm -hmm. a problem because uh, I was in the car, my wife was driving, and we kept having some connection mm -hmm. problems. Oh. Okay. Did you check it on our website? Still, you have that problem? What do you mean? You said you had some issues at the time when you were speaking to him. And uh, was he able to resolve that issue or not? That's what I was trying to understand here. I don't think so. He, he said when they were looking into my records that somebody had opened some bank accounts or something like that. Okay. Do you have a case number or something? You don't remember? You don't remember? We we spent maybe 15, 20 minutes on the phone. It was, uh, I think you said they had been doing something with drugs as well. I speak to hundreds of people every day, sir. So sorry, I don't remember. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Well, I wish I had a case number. My, We were going to the hospital because I had to get a procedure done. Well, I'm just now getting back, and I wanted to call to double check and make sure there wasn't a problem. Okay, now, are you feeling better? It's going to take a couple weeks, but I'm on the up and up. <laughs> I think I tried calling you several times that day. However, you did not respond. Yeah, perhaps. I don't want you to take the cell phone into the surgery room, you know. Mm hmm Well, how do we get the case can back Can you tell up? me, can you help me out with the name of the institution you're banking with? Oh, Chase Bank. I also have a Bank of America. Okay. Can you check your email? Did you get any kind of notifications or anything? Uh, not that I know of. You were not available, sir. Then how would you know it? I'm telling you to check it right now. I had originally got the email from you guys a few days ago. That's how I got the number. 
what I'm telling you is to go ahead, check your email right now. Did you get any other emails after that? That's what I'm trying to ask you. Uh, hold on. I guess I, let's see, three ways to improve uh, a shocking increase to the, uh, uh, save the $126. Um, um, I, I don't see anything of consequence. Okay, can you tell me, do you use your Chase Bank online application on your cell phone or not? Uh, no, sir. No, sir. Mm -hmm. How do you check your bank details, then? Sometimes I... Transactions and all that? Normally, I just sign my on the laptop. Why? No, just because if there is any updates or something, you would be able to check it there. Okay. Well, do you know uh, you check, do you how, how do I any... find out if I if there's any problems still, or if the case is being settled, or what's going on? Case is still open. It is saying that there have been no response from your end. So this has been left open with the feedback placed in it. It says no response. Okay, well, I'm responding now, ain't I? Hello? Hold on, I'm checking the details. All right, I appreciate it. Okay. Provide me your email address. Let me check it from there if the I'm able we, to that we talked to yesterday, find but... something. Say that one more time. Help I'm me sorry. up with your email. Help me with your email. Oh, sure. Sure. It's, uh, I, it's my wife and I share it, so it's I as an ice cream. L O V E U as in umbrella X O X O two thousand one at Gmail. Ah, uh, yes, at Gmail dot com. The computer laptop that you're using, is that an Apple or is that an Android? The laptop. Uh, like Windows. What laptop is it? It's a Microsoft. Microsoft. Open your email, please. Okay. How's the family, by the way? You got a family? I think I remember you saying something about that. I just can't quite remember. <laughs> First of all, I'll tell you one thing. I never spoke to you, okay? Second thing, the number you're calling on right now, this got activated yesterday. And you're telling me you're speak to, you spoke to me a couple of days ago? What the heck is he talking well, about? Well, nice try. It didn't work. Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. Hang up, bro. 
long chance. Justin? What is he talking about? It got activated yesterday. I actually, I really genuinely don't know what that even means. I shouldn't have asked about his family. <laughs> I was, I was going to find out, like, if he says he has one kid, you know? But, um, I knew it was a long shot to, like, have him go along with it anyway, but. Oh, was that Saul? Maybe. I don't know. To the security administration, this is Officer Dominic Wilson. How can I help you? Hello. 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 Anybody there? Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hi, is this, is this the Social Security Department? Uh, who am I talking to? This is Rose. Uh, I just received an email yesterday uh, morning about my Social Security number being suspended. Rose, do you can you provide me your last name? If I is this the right place? Yes, it is. Um, the other guy hung, hung up. Not this guy. This is Saul. Well, can you tell me what is the reason for your call? Well, I don't understand. Why, why is it being suspended? What is being suspended? It said that my social security number would be suspended in 48 hours. Okay, do you have a case number but or something? I don't though? understand why. Do you have a case number? Yeah, well, SSN 34. Four three four twenty two. Help me out with your last name, Rose. Bilgewater. Sorry. Bilgewater. B i l g e. How do you spell that? B I L G E. Yes. After that, after that. W A T E R. Uh, it shows that your social security <laughs> has been why. temporarily on hold. Because works. there have been suspicious activities monitored under your social security. There have been two charges pressed against you on your social security. Are you oh aware about God. it? Did you receive any call from your local police station or something? No. No. Did you receive your social security check for this month? Well, Come to think of it, I... Sorry? I don't know. I... 
I think I get it on the 15th. You get it on the 15th? I'm trying to remember. My son has to help Oh, you me can check your account. With my finances, normally. Check your account online so you can check and understand whether the check has been landed or not. All right. Um, hold on. Yo, chat, what I have mm -hmm. gotten, what I have gotten it. Do you get them like? Uh -oh. It looks like <sighs> yes for for last month. Um, I'm talking about this month. Because of Labor Day, I think it was delayed, perhaps. For the verification purpose, could you please tell me the name of the bank where your Social Security check gets deposited every month? Bank of America. And you're checking your bank on your phone or on your computer? Well, I have a laptop. Are you checking it on the laptop now? Huh? You're checking it on the laptop right now? Yes. All right. And you said that you What's received wrong? this email yesterday on what your... What happened to my... What happened to my Social Security? Oh, it says that your Social Security has been listed with some unusual illegal activities. What does that mean? There have been two charges pressed against your Social Security. One is with the drug enforcement, and the second one is for money laundering. What? Yes, you heard me right. I've, I think you have the wrong Social Security number. We have all the details correct here. We notified you because if this is not being sorted by this time, then the next thing is there will be a warrant established and you will be under arrest. Mother forking shirts. <sighs> is, is it my ex-husband? How old are you? How old are you, Rose? Oh, God. Can you hold on a second? Rose? Yeah, okay. I'm trying to see if my ex-husband messaged me recently. He always was jealous. Your ex-husband? Oh, he was jealous about what? I'm not sure that's any of your business. Um, it will be my business very soon, when we'll be dragging you out of your home and putting you in the jail. Well, I think you've got the wrong, the wrong woman here. And that's not your business, okay? We have all the details connecting evidences of your social security number, your driver's license, all the bank accounts that was opened in the past three months. What, 
There are no bank accounts opened. What do you What do you mean? Um, we got this information, and that is the reason why we are blocking your social security. So all the bank accounts connected to that will be shut down, and the investigation will start. I'm telling you, it's not me. You have the wrong person. I'm, I'm 81 years say. old. Then there is a possibility that somebody else is trying to use your info in order to do these things. What That's do you possible, mean? Right? Uh, let's say I'm telling you that it could be a proper way how this thing could be settled up. Maybe someone is using your info. Maybe someone is trying to access your information. This has to be. They're, they're reading this so robotically. Anyway. Is this the guy Saul? Was this the second guy we talked to? Do you remember putting your details anywhere online on any kind of website? I don't know. I... I'm trying to make sense of this. I... I don't have any other messages or phone calls or not the message anything about this Listen. this is the first time i'm hearing it rose i'm well, can I'm you i need to hold, hold on one second I, I, um, I have to put the phone down for just a second and look at my mail to see if i got anything in the mail today Okay. This is Saul from yesterday. No reason With for me that. to him to tell me all this. They do you have any something payment? Just for it's being recorded. Yeah, the call is recorded, but what about the you talking about training and all that? I thought Justin said it was recorded for quality and training purposes just like to know i don't know and or why did why anything. is he even yeah, yeah. so if you have any or something you. payment just i don't know saul it yesterday is. why okay. why would you ask that no saul yesterday seemed very um like uh, incap un incapable uncapable that's ironic i can't say this word right now like he didn't know how to scam. All right. Did you check your email? Hello? Yes, I'm here. I don't have anything in the mail from you either. Okay. Provide me your email address. Let me check it from my server. Help me with your email address. Huh? Give me your email address, Rose. Okay, well, it's Richard. Okay. Andrews. Mm hmm.
You're doing what? I'm sending you a verification link. Hold on. Oh. Can you open open Google? Open Google. Uh. Okay. Uh, on my laptop, you mean? Yes, dear. On your laptop. All right, hold on a moment. Yeah, this mm -hmm. guy, I don't think this guy we talked to yesterday. He seems a little bit more. Remember how yesterday I said I don't think most scammers just decide like, man, I want to scam old ladies. You could, I would believe you if, <laughs> if you told me that he did want to scam old ladies. <laughs> That's rude of me to say. That's mean of me to say, but he just seems so mean. Um, I'm just getting the. All right, I'm on Google. Google Chrome. Okay, on the Google. You're saying Google Chrome. Yeah, Google Chrome. Right. Yes. Can you see? Can you see? A white long bar on the extreme top. Um. You mean the search? Above the search, uh, there is one Justin more did text white me. line. There will be working, little written something in no it. Calls have been assigned to him www. yet. www. google. com. Yes. Okay. Empty that line for me, please. Okay. Now what? Now, hold on. Let me give you the info here. What, what info? Hold on, hold on. Well, I, I just don't understand what you mean. Okay. What, what? Yes. What now information? The, line, the white is line is and hold that on. You're trying to give me. I don't understand. I'm trying to verify. I'm trying to verify your info because I'm trying to understand here that how did your details went outside. How are the other people oh. trying to utilize your things? Because you never did it. So it's pretty obvious that somebody else is doing it. Um, well, I didn't. I didn't do it. That's mm -hmm. right. Now on the, on the white long bar on the top, which you just emptied, type there C as in Charlie. Okay. S as in sugar. <clears throat> okay. I'm pulling up Fox News then articles. Then write the word There's care. C-A-R-E. <laughs> care. I was not expecting that. I got to have some history for, for Edna. Then put a dot. And then type live, L I V E. C. Sorry, say it again. It is C S care. Okay. Dot live. Dot live, L I V E. Okay, hold on. And what does this do? Uh, what is this for? This is a social. This is a social security 
portal link and i am giving you this link and i will be giving you a one time session code so you can access your details and we will be able to find out who's doing wrong with you so we can go ahead and get them behind the bars and the first thing to do is to protect you from getting involved in it huh? open the link first i guess i Do you want me to tell the police guys to arrest you right now? No. I'm trying to help you no. and you're asking me all these things. Do it right now whatever I'm I, saying. I don't want to listen one single thing back. I just don't understand. Life life. Don't understand you you will understand it pretty better I think I should be calling them now. No. No, I haven't done anything wrong. So open the link that I just gave you. Type it and open it. I'm trying to help you, Rose. Uh, okay. You don't need to yell. You don't understand the seriousness of this problem. You know? it's a clear case of identity hacking somebody is using your name to launder hundreds and thousands of dollars outside the united states well if it's somebody else then why are you yelling at me because it is your driver's license your social security details they have opened all these accounts under your name what, what do you mean under my name how, how could they do that that is what i'm trying to find out please open the link that i've given you okay sorry uh as c care right dot c s care okay i wonder is it something like they got my wallet Yes, I got all your info. Had something like that happened once. Hey, what would the statement yes. say? Now you're on understanding. My bank? Uh, I'm trying to get everything ready. So what would the statement say for the social security check? Can someone tell me? <laughs> Thanks. Um, okay, the page. Uh What is the page saying? Is it asking you for the code? Um Yeah, but I don't have a code. I don't I will know give what you the code. Is. Does the page shows you I I'm giving you the code. Write it uh, type it down. It is 91 Okay. Um, say it again, nine one zero. And then, now what? Or right beside it, there is an arrow. Click on that arrow. Okay. 
Now look on the left hand side bottom of your screen. Do you see a file there with the name of support client? Um, on the left hand where? side bottom, you would see a file getting down. On the left hand side bottom, you would see a file getting downloaded there. Check that. Um, Oh. Double click on it, it will open. Um. Double okay. click on oh, the I file. See it. Yeah, double click. Double click and open the file. All right. Uh, what does it do? Uh, what did you say? What, what will it do? Is it double click, open it, double click on it, it will open. Okay. Now what? When you double click and it opened, what do you see next? Um, it's going to give you some options like yes, okay, allow, continue. Yes. Yes. What? Go with every positive options. Yes, okay. All right. Yes, okay, allow. Go with every positive options. Yes, okay, allow. Um, sorry, I'm not very good. What do you see on your screen now? Tell I'm me that. I'm not very good at these. I understand. It Can you tell you me what do you see on the screen joined. there? You, you have okay, successfully, you connected, successfully it joined? Oh, okay. I don't know. Hold on, let me check that. It's okay, Rose. I'm there to support you and help you because I know that you have not done it. But the only problem is we have to go ahead and find evidences so we can work on it to get you protected from there. Now close everything that you see on the screen. What? I said, close everything that you see on the screen. Um. Okay. Close everything. Well, I don't know how to close everything else. Um. Now check your Bank of America and let me know that today or yesterday, do you see any debits there? Um, hold, can you hold on a second? Yeah. Okay, now what I'm cool. gonna do here is we, we are going to go ahead and make sure that these things are working personally fine.
Oh shoot! Okay, and uh, there is this is Justin another person who yesterday. will be in touch with you right now on this case. Are we talking His to Justin job is now? To protect your entire funds and your accounts, so you don't get into any kind of trouble. Okay. Oh shit! Okay. Hold on. Uh, are you sure you? Want yeah, whoever this is. From yesterday, if this is Justin, that's who we're talking to now, I think. Check. Check. Um, okay, are you still there? Sorry. Oh, yes, I am. Won't he recognize my computer? <laughs> it's exactly the same. I haven't changed like anything about it. Did you it. check your Bank of America? Um, what did you need me to do? I'm sorry. Log into your Bank of America account and tell me if you see any debit yesterday or today. Uh, I I already saw it earlier. I want you to check it right now. Oh, yeah. this, now it's connected to the server, sniff. so we'll be able to see it properly. What does that mean? That means if it is a hacking attempt, if somebody has tried doing anything, now it's connected to the SSA link, now their hacking things would not be working, okay? So if there is any debit, it's gonna show up clearly. Okay. Log into your so uh, Bank of America account. Oh, and like all the account numbers are going to be the same. I don't know if I can change them fast enough. Should I call the police? You think? We'll do it. We'll do it if you want. Have you are have you already done it? We have already informed it. So we are trying to protect you from it. So once it has been cleared, we'll be able to help you out of this. Kindly log in, please. Because I could call my son too. I know he is a good lawyer. Um Oh, that's okay. We are still working on it. The lawyer can only be getting you in he, a place where it could while, not be helping he you out anywhere. Got in a little bit of a predicament with um, one of his colleagues and had a lawyer help him sort it out. Uh, okay. He might be Log able into to it first. help me. And we'll discuss about it. Rose, I'm telling you to go ahead and log in and let me know if there is any debit. That's all I'm asking you. Oh, sorry. I didn't see any debits this morning. So please check it now. Hold on, one moment. Uh, I'm getting another call. Just okay. one second. Don't pick up any calls. It could be the hackers. Don't pick up any call. Sorry, it was just Susie from church. Okay. 
Log into your account. I'll be right back. Let me put you on hold. I thought I was going to get mad. I thought I was going to debate him. In before Susie was hacked too? Oh yeah, that'd probably be too much for him. Susie said she's having a problem. I sorry, but I, there's a bake sale this weekend that I'm supposed to be involved with. Uh, okay. Question Love for you. Account. Um, nobody's gonna find out about all this, right? Because they would, they wouldn't allow me to participate in the bake sale if, if they knew that there were records I am going to about help you. some kind of criminal Rose. activity. Rose. And obviously I did Rose, didn't do listen it. to me. But if they even got listen a whiff, quick sniff of something happening, they would they would let me do that until I could prove myself innocent. Right. That is what I'm trying to do here. I'm telling you to log into your account first. Let's get the procedure completed. Um, okay, what procedure? Sorry, I, I can't remember. Please log into this we first, Rose. I, I I've been telling be you one single thing for the past half an hour. Log into it now. What? Oh, right. Um, log into the bank. And, but, but what were we doing on there again? Log in first, I'll tell you what I'm doing. All right. Uh, checking it for the password. Uh, it was on this paper. Okay. Oh, and will this have anything to effect on my credit score? Don't you have a social If you're not going to complete the procedure, it's going to affect you completely. What? Please cooperate. I'm telling you, if you're going to delay this process, it's going to affect you completely. So please log in and let me do what I'm doing. Please completely log in first, then we'll talk. Okay, sorry. I just I don't want this to affect my MMR or anything. What am I supposed to do again after I log in? Oh, I was answering your phone. You didn't make this my cooking. Oh, All right, Rose, you there? Yes, I'm here. Oh, God! Okay. 
now it is connected to the secu- hold on hold on it's connected to the hold security on, I gotta now close don't do my anything computer. my son told me about this don't do anything I don't know what just happened. Rose, I'm telling you not to do anything. Okay? Don't do anything. It's getting connected to the security. What was that? That's what it is showing up there. It was terrifying. There. It is. Okay, yes, it is I'm connected right to now. the security. Just relax, okay? I'm doing it. Don't worry. You were, you were doing what? My screen disappeared. Yes, it is connected to the security so we can, listen, I'm connecting it to the security so we can understand what's going on there. Oh. Don't worry okay. about it, okay? I'm working on it. It says, please wait, security updates are... Yes, yes, don't, don't worry. Turn off system. Oh. Well, I had closed the screen. I hope that doesn't. No, cause hold on. Problems. Don't do anything. Don't touch anything. Don't touch anything. Oh, shoot. He might recognize. Now, can you tell me... He's not going to recognize. Where is William? Oh, there it is. He he knows now. Huh? Where is William? My... How do you know my ex-husband? Huh? How do you know my ex-husband? Because he... He called in yesterday. He logged into the same bank account. That's impossible. That is possible. That's... He had an access to the same account, same balance, same That's everything. That's impossible. That's a... I definitely have more money than him. And we are not on good terms. Oh, that doesn't make any difference. He's just jealous. Oh, he's jealous? Why is he jealous? He called you yesterday? He called in. What's he trying to do? Yes. Is he the one who told you he about this? He called me yesterday. Is he trying to sell a he bunch is... of lies? It's good for nothing. No, he's... He's a piece of work, you know that. It. Always trying I to do know. the right thing, he says. But you know what he was doing with Holly Beth down the road? No. He joined their bowling league without me. Okay. Didn't even ask. It was a couple's league, and she didn't have anyone. And so he offered. Okay. That's a big red flag, if you ask me. God, I'd like to get, no, I'd like to get on his nerves, you know that? Could you give me his number? Mm -hmm. You need his number? I mean, if you don't mind, later, I'd like to... I'd like to call him. He changed his number after the divorce. Okay. How do you... How, you've got to be joking with me. How would you know? You must no. just know from some kind of record or something that we oh, were yeah. married. Mm, nope. 
So what did he say to you? Hold on. Let me just check it. I'm trying to get the details. Is he just like gonna believe it? He's just gonna do something? That's funny because I said, how could he not <laughs> notice? And then immediately he was like, so where is William? <laughs> but. Oh. All right. So yesterday when I spoke to him, we had uh, some conversation about things. He opened the same bank account. He provided the same information. What? And uh, I what don't do you know mean? why. Huh? What do you mean? I don't understand. The same information? Yes. Let me let me check it. Hold on. I'm just checking the details. How here. could he get on this account? That is what I'm trying to check here. After the divorce, we we settled everything. Uh -huh. We split things. I got the house. Okay. He would have had to open his own account. I mean, I have a different password. I think. Uh -huh. I guess I don't know. So, when did you people got divorced? Oh, gosh. Three. What? Oh, my God. It's, it's already, it's been four years now. Four years since the Bowling accident. So you people got divorced just because we spent he did a couple not let you participate. Months <clears throat> trying to work things out, but I thought he was a good man, you know? Uh, yes, I understand. Okay, can you tell me the cell phone that you're using? Is that your home phone or is that, uh, like, is that an Apple phone or an Android phone? No, it's just my Blackberry. Phone. Blackberry phone. It's very old, but I like it because it fits comfortably in my purse pocket. Mm -hmm. The mad lad. He must have just been lying to me yesterday. Obviously, he's very suspicious, but he's just he he entered in another Zell account, a different one from H yesterday. Herbert eighteen dot com. Whose email is that? Oh, that's an old email. Jeez, where'd you get that one? You call it. There are two cell phone numbers. 
ending with 3902 and mm-hmm. 3911. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, God, those are Whose from... Whose numbers are those? Jeez, those are from when we were still living in Olmstead in Ohio. Well, that's, God, that's years ago, 10 years ago, at least. How do you mm-hmm. have all that information? I'm telling you, we got all the info here. Now, tell me one thing. How much longer... Did you... Does it take for the computer to update? Oh, it will come up soon. Okay. I think it might be stuck. No, it's not stuck. It's working. Because it just says, please wait. It said that for the past 15, 20 minutes now. Well, do you have any, I guess, information about the case? Or, I still am concerned about how you even got information about the case. Did my husband tell what, you? What What happened? Did he tell you what something happened to your com- about did you Did you turn off your computer? Me? Because it would have been a lie. I'm asking you a question. What? Did you turn off the computer? Well, I closed the screen, yes. Turn it on. Okay. All right. Is it on? I'm opening it back up. Okay, it's open back up. Don't turn it off at any point. Okay. Oh, oh, he just texted Log in. William and Open said, Open your computer. Do you know Rose Bilgewater? She logged into your bank account. What, is, what, what should William say? Like, get good for nothing lying Get to your second. desktop. Log <laughs> oh. into your computer. Uh... Put the password to get into your computer. Uh, okay. Did you, um... Did you find any case information? Um, Log into your Bank of America again. What's wrong? Do you use Amazon? Uh, yes, sometimes. Log into your Amazon account first. Well, I mean, my daughter, you know, she would just use her account sometimes. Why? Oh, this is the same thing he said yesterday, you know? You spoke with him about Amazon? I didn't know he He was keeping in touch with them. I told, I told him never to talk to our family, and that he was not welcome. 
Oh, he's speaking to them all the time. It's like he's being suspicious about... <laughs> he said something different than what you're saying. It's like, of course he would say the same thing. We were married. What are you... Sorry. Do you want his number? If you'll get his number, what are you going to do? Ah, jeez. Find a way to get back at him, that's for sure. I'd yell. Find a way to get back to him? He thinks he's so nice and so pure, or trying to, trying to help the new neighbor join a bowling league. Oh. Thinks he's better it than everyone like... else. So he was just joining a bowling game. What else did he do wrong? It was a couple's bowling league. Okay. And instead of uh, getting you with him, if I'm not wrong, I'm assuming that he took that lady with him, right? Yeah. Instead of doing, I mean, instead of talking to, I mean, taking you, he says, I miss her dearly. She won't speak to me anymore. There's no way he would have said that. That man is a lying sack of garbage. I texted him that. I think he believes this, sort of. This is so weird. You, you're you talking to him right now? No, I'm just telling you. He was talking about me yesterday? Yes. What did he say? Oh, he said, I miss her dearly, but she won't speak to me again, ever. That's what he's just said. Huh? That's what he said. I don't know. I haven't talked to him in years. No, oh, you you never speak to him? <clears throat> okay, log into this Amazon account. Huh? Log into this Amazon account. What Amazon account? Man, Here it is. I didn't think this was Justin. And you have now to I'm put like, an email and a password. This was Justin. I wanted so to talk to him. So you can log into it. Because I'm afraid that it's like ruined now. But he seems just like a scummy <laughs> dude. I don't think he was. He was telling me that he wasn't on the phone with he anyone while he was on the phone for with me. So. The Amazon page. It's just. Yeah. Oh, I don't know how. She would have to log in. She does when she's at the house. Who Sorry. would have to? Oh, she does it? Yeah. Okay. So, I guess, 
Am I actually in trouble, or did William just tell you? Did he put you up to this? No. Are you some Why kind of... Why would he put me up to this? You some kind of, uh, private investigator? No, I'm not, ma'am. The reason why I asked you about William is, yesterday when we had this issue, he logged into this very same bank account. That's why I remember his name. There's no way he could have logged in here. We, we have different he accounts. Did. He told me that he is always traveling in cruises, and uh, he is just traveling. Of course. I wouldn't believe it, though. He might just be saying something to sound like he's happy. He always did want to go on cruises. If he logged into this bank, he would have been spending this money. I bet. Are you sure he was on here? Yes, honey, he was. That's why I'm telling you. But we have two separate... We never had the same Bank of America. We we used to use Chase. And then... No, no, we no, We took no. our 401ks. He logged it. He logged in to this bank account. Oh, you know what? And I know it 100% we sure. Did, we, did used to, we did used to share the... Uh, I forgot about the 401ks. Yeah, that's why I asked. Should I call my lawyer? Oh, if he has done something wrong to you, don't worry. I will be doing the positive things that has to be done. Uh -huh. I would do it. Hold on. What? Hold on. He's such a weird dude. He's texting me now saying, she says you hooked up with a neighbor lady at the ball game. And so, for William, I said, I don't want you to get in the middle of my family life. And I only went to play bowling in all caps. And then he says, and then I, oh, he was like, help me with money and then you can talk to her. And I said, I want to save people from SSA scams. He said, if I'm helping you do it, then I'll lose my job. And why would I do it if there's nothing in it for me? He hasn't explained that he's actively scamming her yet. So I can't, like, it doesn't make sense as to why, you know what I mean? Like, there's no reason for How long is it going to take to update? Not much. Well, I'm thinking about trying to get in contact with somebody from the local Social Security office. We are already forwarded on your case there itself. You haven't even told me any information. Okay. You know what? The bank account that you just logged in, it's a made-up bank account. 
This is not a real bank account. It's what? not a real bank account. That's what I'm saying. What is he concerned about? I wasn't paying attention. Okay. Did Trying they to do play with me? It's been such a long time. Do something with my account? No, I think so. What do you mean? Oh, hold on, let me just check it. I don't understand. Hold on, one minute. What does he have said about him? I wasn't paying attention. Did he... I saw he was transferring money. You, you have to explain it. I don't... What do you mean there's something wrong with the bank? Is See, what, a made-up bank? When I'm... When I'm does this trying have something to, to do, do certain with things... With the hack? Yes. What do you mean? Oh, he was about to say when I tried to do certain things. So it just did something he wasn't expecting, I think. Whatever. Whatever that is. Well, should I call them? No, I'm working on it. Let me Can, complete please it Please explain it, please. Okay. Somebody has gotten access of your account, all right? And that is what these people have been trying to do. And I am telling her to go ahead and get it fixed. Oh. Sure, I... Can I please speak with your supervisor? Hold on a minute. I'd like to speak to someone else, please. Let me just... All right, hold on. I'll transfer the call right now. Thank you. Um... I mean, he couldn't use Zell, so that could be part of the problem. But it looked like he was trying to transfer money in between accounts, and then maybe when he was clicking Quick View, he didn't see what he wanted to see, I guess. I'll have to look into that. Hi, Officer Justin here. Hello? Hi. Hi. Who's this? My name is Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. Are you the senior... I'm a senior officer here. You were speaking to one of our associates, and he told me that you were into some kind of serious trouble with your account. And I was just checking on the details here, so I would be able to understand what exactly is going on there. Um. Yeah, he was. He's really not explaining anything to me, and I asked to. I asked to transfer to the manager. Is this Jose? <laughs> we gotta find a clip. Oh, someone in chat just said, "Is this Jose?" Okay. 
He was he actually got, working on a new case Arnold here, Schwarzenegger? and he just told oh, us he said that there have been Sh- some Schwarz- activity going on with your uh, husband, he said. And uh, he just uh, notified it that uh, there was something which was going on. And he just told us that this is a very good lady and she is into trouble. Uh, He wants me to go ahead and help you. He said that there is something wrong which is happening and somebody has accessed your information here. So he was trying to help, but I'll tell you, he's a nice guy. Yes, he is a nice guy. You know, the problem is when he is working on one thing, he cannot speak. He would be like very busy doing the same thing. And maybe that is the reason he was not able to explain you anything. Oh, you mean the junior officer? Yes. Wow. See, I'll tell you what he was trying to do is... Is that the only requirement to, protect, uh, to be a senior officer? He is... He is the person who is taking care of your case. And don't worry about it. It's his job to do it, okay? So he will go ahead and make sure that everything is working absolutely okay, fine. So he's basically just trying to add a bank account. And you don't get into so any kind of wire trouble there. So he says don't worry all this about stuff. it. It's his job and he is doing oh, and he's doing it to protect you. Well, I, he just doesn't explain anything. I, I was told there was a case and I was going to be losing my it's like a suspension on my social security. And now my computer is updating. You think I care yes, about my computer updating out, right now? This guy actually second, went ahead phone call. and he Hold found on, out. Second. Sorry. Don't pick up any phone call. Arnold who? Arnold Swashwanikar, former governor of California. How are you? Hey, Arnold. Oh, but this is if he's he's pitching his voice I really high. I remember from Catherine. Do you know her? Is it him? Catherine it sounds so America. similar. The owner of Bank of America. Yes. It's to- oh my goodness! Uh, no right. way. Sorry, what was your last name one more time, just to make sure I'm talking to the right person? What was your last name? I'm sorry. Tar- Toshmaniger. Could I just ask him? Say something like, "My ex-husband really likes Arnold." Let's see if he says it the same way. All right, we just got a bank account, too. Hold on. I don't know how to, like, prove that it's him, you know? That's crazy. He was so mad. What did we title that video? I don't even remember. He was he was a... A piece of work, too. Okay, are you still there, officer? What was your name again? Uh, John? Jonathan? Jonathan, okay. I kept getting a, keep getting calls from my neighbor, Susie. Well, I, I would like to have some information about the Social Security. Am I getting in trouble? Okay, first of all, That's what yes, I need you to know. are getting in trouble. Yes. The first What's thing wrong? we want to ask you is how far, how far is your Bank of America from your home? Oh, maybe thirty minutes, forty. Depends on the traffic. Thirty minutes. Okay. Here, what you need to do is, uh, it has been reported, and all your bank accounts will be seized. 
and we have to complete the investigation. What you need to do is you have to first of all go ahead and withdraw some funds from your account. So if the investigation is prevailing and your bank account gets seized, you would be having the same money with you. Um, what? You have to go ahead to your bank and withdraw money from your bank. Okay, leave that. Can you tell me how far is a Walmart or anything from your place? Um, I, I, I just don't understand. Can you just tell me? Why am I getting in trouble? And how That's do you know word, my husband? Okay. My ex-husband is a bad, bad man. Um, he, he must have told you everything. In the call records, he called us yesterday with the no, this, same I, thing. This might be Jose. It feels like it is. The more clips I listen to. Okay. And from according to our ago, records, he logged he into this thing. he was screaming at someone thing. in the background. And now it makes me wonder, was he like, did he actually have like an infant? Was he like, because remember his wife or someone was like moreover, talking on the phone too? That you are operating. Can you tell me know. when was the last time you made any purchase using the debit card of this bank account? Can you tell me that? Have you spoken with the police? Ma'am, your call is already on record with the courthouse. It's already recording. I'd like to, I need to speak to, I need to speak to someone else. I don't. You told me that you were speaking to my junior you had problems with him. You told him to transfer to someone else. Now I took the transfer. Now you want me to transfer it again? I'd like to speak to somebody involved in the government or, or the, the police or something. Because this doesn't make sense. Oh, hold on. Hold on. It doesn't make any sense. Whatever my ex has been told you, this is some kind of sick, twisted, crazy scenario. Yo, you want to know something weird? Apparently the f wait is that for real? The first time we talked to Jose okay. was September. Can you tell 8, me one single question? I need to get an answer for it. Can you tell me when was the last time, like you basically have exactly a year ago, or deposited any money in this? If it really is him, that's of Bank of America. I want to find a way to like confirm it. Say that again. When was the last time? The why does it matter? You have withdrawn was a, or deposited quite any the money on this Bank and of America. He was he was cr angry. He did a ton of different voices. He was vicious. <laughs> so it's just wild to run into him again. If it is him, I I don't know. Um. I do that every week. You withdraw funds every week out of this account? 
Well, when I buy things. Okay, and when was the last time you made any purchase? When was the last time you visited Walmart or anything? You know, I'd like to call to my, I'd like to make a call to the bank. Um, we have already spoken to I the police the guys number? and they'll be calling you right away. The police, the sheriff is going to call because you I'd, right I'd away. I'd like to call the bank and speak with Get dressed up. somebody and, and um, is there a case number so oh, I can gonna, call you back? They're going to freeze your account right now. They're freezing. We are going to freeze your entire bank account right now. No. You'll not be able to put a dime out of it. And your sheriff is going to call what? you right now. Why? And he's coming to your doorstep with the no. warrant. Why? Yes. Because you and your ex-husband you both are involved in this money laundering activity. No. That is for sure. I haven't had anything to do with him in years. How sure about it? What is the other bank that you use apart from this? Can you please let me talk to someone from the bank? You, you don't know, do you know anyone over there? You have to know someone. Please connect me. Do you want me to go ahead and get you speak to someone in the bank on your brunch? Yes. You said there's something wrong with the bank. I want to talk to somebody from the Thanks. bank. Hold on, there's let me transfer nice, it to them. There's a nice young woman who, she she's down there at the local branch. She's... Oh, it has to be done from the New York place of the head office of Bank of America. Your local branch has nothing to do with it. The head office is going to block it because we have sent them an intimation about your account and your involvement with money laundering. No. Let me talk to somebody. Hold on. Stay on the line with me. You will be getting a call from the sheriff right now. I want to talk to the bank, not the sheriff. See, I'll tell you, the reason why I told you that there is a problem with your account is because even if I'm trying to do an internal transfer, uh, let's say a transfer from your one account to your another account, it is showing error. If I'm trying to do anything, it's showing error. That's oh, all it is doing. Well, That's it's hard to do much online with that account. My husband, he, well, this was quite a few years back, but he, he lost quite a bit of money. And so okay. they have the bank locked down for good reason, too. How far, how far is a Walmart from your place? He had gotten, um. Someone called huh? and, well, he, anyway. What? I said, how far is a Walmart or a dollar store from your place? Um, I 
maybe dollar. I don't know. Twenty. I think that one closed. Walmart maybe forty minutes. How about Dollar General or Dollar Store? CVS, Rite Aid. Yeah, why? Ma'am, I'm giving you the last opportunity. Can I ask you so something? You need to understand. Officer. I am the one who is investigating, not you. Are you married? Yes, I am. When did you get married? Five years ago. What does that have to do with your case? It's just... Speak up. How would you treat someone in your own family? Who is going through this? Ma'am, I told you from the first time itself, I am trying to help you. My other guy who you were speaking to, he also told you the same. Rather than understanding and doing what we are saying, all you are doing is just questioning. Ma'am, in your entire lifespan of 81 years, I'm sure you have never, ever been... Right? So when you're not into those things, you need to understand life gets really miserable when you get into any kind of police thing, especially for something which we call and denote as a traitor to the country. Stop crying, mom. I'm not crying. Yes, you are. No. I'm not. I'm not crying. It's just a breathing exercise. <laughs> For yoga. No, no, it's not. <laughs> it's just... I am... <laughs> Please help me. I didn't do anything wrong. I am helping you. That's what I'm trying to do, ma'am. Can you tell me how far is an ATM from your place? Um, it, maybe a drive through or something? An ATM? You mean like Wendy's? Mm hmm no, where you can pull out the money from the machine. No. Oh. Too bad my account's frozen. I'm sorry? I said it's too bad the account's the account frozen. Is... Did you receive any call just now? No. You didn't receive, you didn't got any call? Oh, actually. I'm getting a call right now. Pick up, pick up. It's a sheriff's call. So, okay, I'm give you any options. Hello? Hello, this is New York City Police, and you're talking to Officer Joe Williams. Hello? Mr. Ozgabir? 
Road. This is Joe Williams from New York Police Station. What the heck was that? What happened? I think... I think someone might be playing a prank on me. Someone's playing a I'm recording sorry? of... something. I, I don't know. Hello? Hello, is, am I talking to Miss Rose? Who the heck are you? This is Joe Williams from New York Police Station. Someone's calling me, saying they're from New York Police. Pick up. Who the heck is yes, that? That is an... Listen to this I guy. Rose, that's the sheriff. Ms. Rose, this is Joe Williams from New York Police Station. You were connected to Social Security Administration. I just got... You're Katie from Post New message. York Police? Yes, this is Joe Williams from New York Police Station, ma'am. Do you know Governor Arnold? Ma'am, we just got a message from Social Security Administration regarding the regarding your arrest warrant. So can I know about the case why I received the message? I'm sorry, I don't think this is... Rose, what happened? Will you say what the case is? Are you on the phone, uh, Officer John? I tried to merge the calls. Yes, I am. I, I am on the phone. Who the heck is that guy? Is William trying to get me... Is he setting me up for something? Is this some kind of joke? The New York Police Department is calling me? Yes, I told you that if it Who is... Who are you? If you're not cooperating, ma'am, I don't is have... Is there a problem with my if I don't. social security number or not? Yes, it is a problem. That's why when you're not cooperating, I don't have any other options than to roll out the warrant. I'm not even in New York. I've never been in New York. I used to live in California. Spent the best okay? years of my life in California. Yeah. Loved the governor. You ever met Arnold? Governor Arnold? No, ma'am. That's <laughs> Why would I meet the governor? You've seen his movies, though, right? Oh, I have did. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes. John Rambo. <laughs> the favorite character of my life. You've never met him? Yeah, I meet him every now and then, but on the television. <laughs> yeah. Tell you what, I'd vote for him if he wanted to be president. Mm-hmm. I oh, miss those days. See, I could have called him if I was in California. He used to answer the phone for regular old people at the governor's office. Okay. Uh-huh. <sighs> but you're not there in California anymore. No. Even, even he's not going to help you if he would come to know that your name is listed in the cases that is basically known as the traitor for the country. Wait, John Rambo. What actor played John Rambo? John Rambo. Arnold Schwarzenegger. It was his movie, Rambo. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, no, he either said it right or or it's not Jose or he's been practicing. Oh. Oh, now you cannot recall it? Still sounds so much like him. This is so weird, though. Like, it's so bad. Like, he isn't even saying anything now. Sorry, are you still there, officer? Yes, I am. Okay, there okay, is only I, one thing that I we can do right now. Call from my neighbor. Okay, here what I'm telling you is, oh. you have to go to the bank and you have to withdraw ten thousand dollars out of the bank. Why? Because here the best thing that I can do is. Once you withdraw the cash from the bank, there is a government-based ATM, okay? It is going to verify your driver's license. It's going to verify your biometrics. And once you punch that money in that, it's going to be showing up. Uh, it's going to give you a receipt, okay? You have to share that receipt with me. And you can instantly check back your account. That $10,000 will be back in your account. This is the best way I can help you out in this case. So you would be able to go ahead and get yourself totally out of this mess. Okay. Can you give me my ex-husband's phone number? What number? My ex-husband's phone number. Sorry, ma'am. This is confidential. All right. I'll go do the biometric scan, if that'll clear my name. It will. But you have to understand one thing. You know, once you reach the bank, you cannot speak to anyone. You just have to go normally to the teller, withdraw the cash from there. Mm -hmm. And if they ask you, just tell them that it's for your home renovation or anything. Because if they check it in the system, they would be able okay. to see that there is already a warrant case on your name. And the second thing they're going to do is they're going to make you sit in the bank they themselves are going to freeze your account completely, and they're going to report it to the nearest police department, and they're going to get you arrested. Because according to what it has been filed here, the money which is in your account is the money which has been laundered. Okay? And this $10,000 that I'm trying to get it verified, that's going to clear out your name because we're going to prove it that all these money that you have in your account is your hard-earned money. All right, no third party has given you any money, anything in your account. Do you um, understand my point? Can you stop updating my computer? No, that's already been done a long time back. Okay. Do you see that? Um, Say, my job is to go ahead and protect you. And you need to understand this thing, Rose. All right. Well, that even I am an employee. Even I am an employee. I am also bound to certain extent. You know, I did not want it to yell on you. I did not want it to fight with you or anything. But the case here is really, really serious, Rose. Okay. All right, I'll hold the line, you go dress up, 
and leave for your bank. I cannot hang because if I'll hang this call up, the system will automatically recognize it as a refusal. And then the next thing is be your arrest. I don't want you to get into all those things because I've been speaking to you for almost like two hours now. And I can experience, my experience clearly says that you are a very good lady. I don't want is you to be husband, in any kind of trouble. My ex-husband, is he in trouble or is he? I cannot tell you anything of that sort details right now. Let's first get you out of trouble. Well, honestly, I'd kind of like him to go to prison. Do you want to go to prison? No, not me. Oh, him. Never mind. You know, that this is all done, his fault, probably. But the only case is... He's probably doing something illegal. Who knows? But it's your name, dear. It's your name. I'm trying here to well, protect you out of this. I once helped campaign for Joe Biden, so I can probably make a couple phone calls. He won't be oh, able if you to think get out other of it. people can help you out of it? If you think those people can help you, then why are we wasting our time? Let me report it to the police, guys. They're going to take you, and then Mr. Biden or anyone do you think is going to help you? It will be like, hell, I gotta kind look of a different story. Numbers, so I guess I just. Uh, fine, uh, I'll head to the bank and I'll see if I can make sense of it. If I can't find anyone else's number. I just... You have to go to the bank right now. It's just... This whole the money. thing is very weird. You have... Oh. It is. You have to why, admit... Why do you think that laundering activity is known as the most weirdest criminal activity? I didn't know it was... I didn't know it was known that. Your case is... Second, second to what? The money laundering case. It's the most weirdest thing second to what? <sighs> or um, next to what? It's going to... It's going to be clearly putting you in the terms of a trader to the country, that you traded money in order to buy more drugs and to do other criminal activities. And you think Joe Biden or anyone would be helping you or anyone who is a trader to their country? Do you think they're gonna do it? They're I'm not, not gonna a do trader, it. okay? So that's, that's what I'm trying to prove. And if you're not, you would have cooperated with these things and you would have already done it. Now, what you're doing here is you just are arguing with me and doing nothing. Okay, I'll... I'll... Sorry. What? I'll go to the bank. Holding the line, go get ready. Huh? Carry your driver's license. Carry your driver's license as well. Okay. What? I'm telling you to carry your driver's license also. Oh. Okay. Uh... All right, all right, officer. I'm online here. I'm on hold. Go get dressed. Oh, okay. I know.
Trying to call Don't him. Don't fast. I don't have all day to wait for you. I'm calling him. Just trying to get this thing done, then I'll go to the next step of it. On my other line, but he's not going to answer. Text now subscriber you are trying to reach. He's not going to answer. As William, I was thinking of trying to like call him out a little bit more. But... Text now subscriber, you were trying to. Huh, well. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I think I've been talking to this guy so long because I'm, I'm trying to figure out if it's Jose because I want to be able to be like, bro, I talked to you a year ago. You lost your mind, and you're still scamming people. You're still lying, but I guess there probably isn't a way to be a hundred percent sure. Um, I thought this was someone else. <laughs> I thought this was. I didn't think this was Justin, but I guess maybe he. Uh, yeah, Justin's just a <sighs> we Weasley a little liar. Sorry, just the. Uh, just because he didn't say Arnold the same way doesn't mean it's him. There's a the I just feel like the way that uh, he's been talking, in general, the uh, sounds so much like Jose. But anyway. Doesn't really matter. Getting getting all the scammers mixed up in my head now. All right. Well, what are you saying? Guess I'm heading to the bank. Call you, I'll call you back you in a little bit, bank. officer. I'm not going to be waiting on your. Oh, I've also been calling him as William, and he won't answer, but it's fine. He also lied to me again. He said, I haven't been talking to anyone. So, just, yeah. And now. Hello? Hello? Rose. Who is this? Rose, this is Jonathan here. I was speaking to you. You told me you're going to call back. I told oh. you to go to the bank at that time. Yeah, I tried to call back on the other line and then... Okay. Is this your... Okay. This is another number? Yeah, this is the extension number. You can call me on that number as well. Not a problem. I'll pick up. Call on that number. Oh, okay, I understand. Well, uh... I got some money out of the bank. So how do I prove... Okay. ...my innocence? How much did you withdraw? 5,000. I told you about 10. I know, but they wouldn't let me take out more than 5 without a... Appointment. 
Uh, without an appointment, you cannot withdraw more than five. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a map on your phone? So, do I need to call you tomorrow then, when I can get another 5,000 out? No, we'll get it done. I don't want you to withdraw more money. So I All only I wanted need five, you then. is to just... Yes, not an issue. Uh, do you have a oh. map on your phone? Okay. What's the minimum amount? It was 10, okay? I Just because you are you only withdrawed 5, I'm raising a request for it. Stay online. Oh, okay. Can you request 4,800? 4,800? Okay. Well, give me a minute. Thanks. Four thousand eight hundred. Or better yet, I don't know. Do maybe three thousand. Huh? How much? Maybe just three thousand, because I. Four thousand eight hundred is the last I can do. Do if you do three thousand, because I gotta hit up a garage sale after this. Sorry, so... ma'am, I cannot do it. Let's let's hope. Let's drop this case now. Then we'll go with the forward cases. What? It was the 10 that you were supposed to make, all right? You withdraw 5,000, you told me to make it for 800. I did that. I cannot reduce it less than that. Oh, they did reduce it to 4,800? Yes. Okay, cool. Now, what I'm asking you now is, what? do you have a map on your phone? You said something about a biometric scan. I said, ma'am, you, you don't listen when I'm saying. I'm asking you, do you have a map on your phone? Yes. Turn it on. All right. What do I do with it? Okay, in the location, type their coin. I N point. Okay, hold on. Okay. Coin star. C O I. No, coin Do flip. They still have coin star. F L I P. Coin flip. Uh. I see Coinstar. Ma'am, I'm telling you to type in Coinflip. I know what you're telling me. I'm just telling you. I only see Coinstar. Ma'am, if you type Coinflip, it's going to show you Coinflip? I typed coin. Yeah, then type flip after that. F-L-I-P, flip. What? Coin... Coin flip. F L I P. Oh, like do a barrel roll? Like that? Huh? Like do a barrel roll, you mean? Flip, yes, flip. Uh, okay, I got it. Now search for it and tell me the nearest location. Coinflip buy sell Bitcoin? Yes. Type there Coinflip ATM near me. Okay. Type like that. Uh yeah, I see one a couple blocks away. Okay. Start driving. Reach there. What? I said, start driving, go to that location. Oh, okay, why, am I meeting you there? 
Ma'am, I told you it is the ATM there. Right, it's just, there's a social security office, um, like five minutes away. Should I just go there? What do you want me to do? You want me to get everything set it up for you? Well, I'm trying I... to get things sorted out for you and now you're trying to do all these things? Well, I figured you were going to have me, let me take you off speaker. I figured you were going to have me go to the social security office or maybe the courthouse. Um, cause uh, I had to prove that if the, you it was my want money, to go with that procedure, right? hold on. If you will be going with that procedure, it's going to be creating more mess to you. I'm trying to get it fixed without you getting presented anywhere. If you're going to get presented there, then they're going to go ahead and do it in the same way, in the, in the different way. What? Are you going to go to that location that I told you or not? Tell me that very clearly. Uh, Will it be a yes or no? That's I mean, it. I can. Don't want to ask you anything more. Wouldn't it be easier for me to go to a social... So I don't mind going go to the there. security office and I can maybe talk to a representative. Ma'am, I'll tell you one thing. One thing I'll tell you, the warrant is already rolled out for you. Okay. If you're going to step anywhere outside that premises, if you reach there, the first thing they're going to do is get you arrested. And rest, it will go according to the procedure. Why? Nobody on earth can save you from that. But, but I'm innocent. Why would there be a warrant out for my arrest? Because it is your social security details and your driver's license details. So you're the only person that knows I'm innocent? Because I've been trying to track all the activities there. That is the reason I'm trying to go ahead and do it offline here. So I can remove this thing okay, from hold you. Okay, I'm trying to download coin flip. You don't have to download it. You have to go to that location. You said it is there a couple of okay, blocks I see away. It. You have to go and to that location. Let me press the flip. It says heads. What is it saying? Now it says tails. Tails? It says heads again. Type it, ma'am. Find the nearest location. It's like a app, right? I downloaded some app called Coin not, Flip, and when you press flip, it, it's not a little a, coin spins, and then it lands on heads or tails. Ma'am, I told you to open Is the map. Is that what you were talking about? I told you to, ma'am. I told oh, you to open it, the map. It's been heads seven times in a row now. I'm saying again. to open the map, map, open the map on your phone. Okay. Yeah, there's a social security office about five minutes away. I'm asking you to put on the map and try to go with that location. Uh, okay, the Social Security Department? I can do that. What? What location? In the GPS, type there, point flip ATM near me. Okay. Um... Did you type it? Yes. Okay. And what is the nearest location it is going to? Uh, How far is it showing you? Hold on. I got bad reception. It's loading slow. Okay, it's not far. 
Uh, okay. <coughs> we, it's a 54 that minutes. Location. It says 54 minutes. 54 minutes? Yes. Uh, hold on. Let me Search see. for some, some other place, ma'am. In in it it will be like very oh, very but close. It's only a, a lot 15, of places It's only a fifteen minute bike ride and a ten minute car ride. I guess I thought I was walking. Sorry. Okay, no problem. Reach uh, that location. Well, I probably can't drive because there's a the police are going to be looking for me. So. Oh God. Drive in. I'm taking care of it. Nobody's going to stop you. What do I do? You. Uh, you said if I, if anyone sees me, they're going to arrest me. I told you, if Do you're going to go anywhere in the social security office, okay, I'm telling you, if you're Let going to I the social security the office, on, then these people are going to do that. Turn on the GPS and drive to that location. Okay, uh, there's a, th a three minute drive from here. There's a hair, a hair salon. I could pull in, have them redo my hair. And then are you a, playing with me? I'm telling you to directly go to that location. Tree, another minute down the road and I, uh, maybe they have clothes there. Do they have clothes at the Dollar Tree? Um. I don't know what to do. Why can't you just tell the police not to I'm... arrest me? You want me to do that? Yes, I, I. you told me that if any police or government official saw me that they would arrest me. I said, first of all, when I'm talking, listen to it, all right? I oh, said, if you're going into the social Halloween security stores. office, then they're going to do that. The only time I've been thankful for one of those would be right now. What? Okay, nine minutes away, there's a Halloween store, and I could get a disguise. Are you trying to play with me here? Huh? Are you trying to play here with me? Play what? The coin flip game? You mean the app? I'm telling you. I'm telling you to go to the coin flip location. Go there right now. Okay, but what if a police officer sees me? What do I say? I am on the call with you. So I'll just hand them the phone and you'll say, she's not someone that needs to be arrested? Nobody in the earth, nobody is going to stop you anywhere, okay? There's police Go everywhere in downtown right now. Chicago. I'm telling you for the one last time, go to that location. Okay. Well, hope I don't get arrested. You are not going to get into any kind of trouble. Okay? Oh, go. You, Follow my instructions. Did go you there. already tell them that I'm innocent? Are you going to go there or not? Tell me this thing very clearly. I don't have time all day sitting and making things with you here. Did you say something about a truck? You you need some time to do something with a truck? Is that what you said? I couldn't hear you. Are you going to go to that location or not? Yes, I'm, I will go. I'm trying to find out if you then already go. canceled everything and then told them that go. I'm not doing anything illegal. This is not gonna happen until you complete this ATM thing. Go to the ATM right now. Okay. Uh, all right. Okay, I'll call you in my officer. Sorry. So, uh, I feel like I struck a nerve. I, I apologize. I'll call you in a minute. Reach that man, what a <laughs> what a guy. 
I was trying to use his own logic against him, and he didn't seem to like that very much. It sounded like he might have said the truck word a few times. I don't think they like that very much. But he very clearly said that if I were to present myself or if anyone from the government or anything like that saw me, that I would be arrested. So. Excuse me. So I assume he's just going to tell me to send. He's going to want me to basically buy it. Bitcoin and send it to him. <laughs> so, like, it doesn't make any sense, you know? Oh, this is to verify that you are the right person. Don't go to the police. Don't go to the social security department. Don't go to the courthouse. Go to one of 50 different Bitcoin ATMs. I guess I would just hope that if someone, I think they're really new at this. Perhaps they really did open yesterday. Uh, they don't seem particularly experienced, but uh, my hope would be that anyone who does talk to them would like not get this far. Like this is insane. This is. So, in order to clear my name from a identity theft case, I have to go insert cash <laughs> into an ATM? Cool. Hi. Yeah. Hi, officer. It's me. Have you reached that place? Yep. What do you see? Do you see the machine there? Yeah. Yeah, I've been kind of sitting in my car for a minute because I uh, wanted to make sure there were no police officers or anything around, but I don't see anyone so that's why i sent you to that location uh actually i picked that location remember ma'am i'm the one who told you about coin flip you were talking about coin star well there's about 30 different coin flips it, it doesn't matter forget about it Get um, inside the store. Oh. There's like an ATM machine type looking thing. Is that yes. what you were talking about? Yes. Okay, so... How does this prove... That in front of me. That I'm innocent again? I, I'm, um, I, I don't understand that part. I, I'm um, sorry. That part's confusing me. Reach inside it. Okay, I'll tell you. When you reach that machine, <laughs> first of all, it's going to ask you for your cell phone number. You okay. enter your cell phone number, it gives you a six-digit code. Okay? Once okay. you get the six-digit code, then, then it is going to ask you for the money amount that you want to deposit. Okay? You enter it there, which says below 900, above 900. You have to click on the one that says above 900. Then it's going to ask you to verify your driver's license. There is a scanner there. You have to verify, I mean, you have to scan your driver's license. After you do that, it will take a selfie of yours. Oh, oh wow, okay. that's a lot of... Once that is done... I'm not wearing makeup. Then it's going to tell you so. to enter. <laughs> it is, it's going to be telling you to enter the bill, the 4,800. Then it's going to ask you to scan the barcode. I'm going to generate a barcode for you. Okay. That I'm sending it and you have to 
Just scan that barcode, enter the bills. Once you're done entering the bill completely, it's going to give you a paper receipt. That's it. I need the numbers on the receipt. Okay. I confirm it here and it's all done. Wow. Um. Wow. This is. It sounds very easy. Um. So, so once I scan a barcode or something, then my name will be clear. Right. All right. Carry your driver's license, money with you, and get into that ATM. Get in front of that ATM. At least you reach that place. You don't even do things and you're asking thousands of questions here. It's been four hours I'm working on your case. Four hours? That's... That's impossible. How come it's impossible? We were on the call for two hours. That's two hours, not four hours. Those are two different things. Okay. We were on the call for two hours. Then you took me. another City. hour to reach your bank and get all these things done. Living. God, I hate being out here. Uh, all right. What do I do? Oh, are you in front of the machine? Yes. Oh, what does the machine say? What do you see on the screen? It kind of looks like an ATM, but instead, I'm asking it seems you, very futuristic. what is the screen saying? It's, um, okay, hold on what one second. What is the screen saying? Oh, shoot. You didn't call my son, did you? He's calling me right now, but I'm going to tell him. I'm not going to answer. You're not going to answer anything right now. Okay, so I'm looking at... What do you see on the screen? It says... Out of order. Oh, it says out of order? Oh, sorry, that's the newspaper stand. Coin flip. What do I do? Ooh. Oh, where do you say coin flip? What do you see on the screen? Okay, this shouldn't be too hard. I gotta enter in my phone number? Yes, enter your phone number. Okay. Let me... Do that. Okay. 
Uh, I did that. Okay. And after that, what do you see there on the screen? Um, okay. Do I need to buy? Am I buying something? Yes, click on buy Bitcoin. Okay, buy Bitcoin. Buy. It says stop and read this message immediately. Click on I'm aware or click on OK. Have you been Go sent forward. to it's this ATM thing. to make a payment for anything? I am asking anything, you to just click on such OK as an and SSN move forward. Fraud, taxes, utility bill. Stop. You are being scammed. Right. I. We have been put that notice there. Oh my God. Okay. Click on OK. Oh my God. Click, click on OK. Um. Do you see OK or anything I have, there? I have to go. What? I think you have the wrong number. This is. Ma'am, have... we have put that notification on that machine because uh -huh. it is showing up if anyone randomly calls you up, it is a trouble. So this is for the security of our people. We never randomly called you. You replied to it. It is for the security of the people. We have put that security notification there. Just click on OK or yes. But it says... If you have been sent to this I'm, ATM I'm telling you, did we cold call you? Okay, well, listen, 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 listen. Did we cold call you? Did we cold call you? No, we didn't. All right? This is for the security of people who are getting cold Never calls. send people Bitcoin to anyone that you have not met in your life. Right, right. It if is giving you an option. It will give you an you've option. you talked to is that claiming to be from right. the uh, government. Ma'am? It is likely a scam. Nobody from the police or the government will have you use this ATM. We highly recommend you do not use this ATM. Oh my God. See, I have, we have made all the descriptions there. This okay. ATM so you don't have to worry about it. The use Everything of is secure. Related payments. If somebody from the government asks you to use this ATM, it is a scam. Okay, and it says I agree or oh, cancel. Um, click on agree. I agree. Okay. I agree. Yes. What is the next thing you see? It's ask, sorry, it looks like someone kind of rubbed pizza all over the screen, so it's a little hard to... It's, <laughs> it's asking... It's okay, read it. Um, choose a cash limit. Above 900. Click on above 900. Okay. <sighs> Click on I agree. Okay. Yep, phone number. Oh, enter the one time passcode. Okay, hold on. No, that will be it. in your text message. Did you get the code? Um, yeah, I'm just typing it in. 
Okay. Okay, now it says to hold my phone. Oh, a QR, what, what's a QR code? Uh, take your next text message. I've just been sending you a text. Hold on one second. What happened? Some guy's giving away peaches. He's peaches? got a he's got a old truck. It says P C H H A tree gifts. Wow. Uh you texted me? I'm sending you one second. Okay, I might go grab a peach, actually. It says free peaches. No. Ma'am, you cannot leave the screen. You know peaches come from a can? They were put there by a man who works uh, in a factory downtown. Okay, uh, Rose, can you tell me one thing? Can you access your email on your phone? Mm, no. No? No, probably not. Where are you going? Hi. I wouldn't mind uh, one of those peaches. You're just giving them out? Like, is it a... Like an initiative or something? Okay, no. God bless you, I guess, or whatever. Thank you. There's no worms in this thing, huh? <laughs> I eat worms in my peaches. Have a good day. I'm sorry, I'm heading back over to the... Flip. You went in to select some peaches for you? Yeah, free peaches. Oh, the thunk. <laughs> okay, can you just try to open your email on your phone? Nah. Sorry? Nope. Won't be able to do that. That's a. Uh, that's impossible. Hold on. Okay. What's the problem there, officer? I'm just finding, uh, you know, just because we have to go ahead and set up things here, I'm just trying to go ahead and generate the barcode for you. One second. I'm sorry, did you just now start setting up? this for me yeah it's just been just gonna take two minutes you've been on the phone with me for five hours now you didn't already set this up 
I did not do it you because I, just I did not the time know. In the world? This is this is insane. Oh, okay, I see something on the screen. It says for your privacy. Uh, oh, for your privacy, we will restart the session in three. Two. One. Oh, that's cool. Okay, hold on, don't worry about it. It restarted the... Wait. As your session has been timed out for your privacy. Is that good or bad? No, it's, it's good, it's good, no problem. Uh, let's, let's just wait for it, one second. Do you want to call, um... Someone... Who can help you? I am doing it here. You don't do anything. Just stay there. What's your problem? Why can't you stay there still? Have you done this before, officer? Yes. Um... Why is it taking so long? Ma'am, it is your unified thing for the barcode, so it has its own time. It is taking up. It's just happening. Don't worry. I can't, I can't hear what you're saying. Your phone is breaking up. Oh, I said, just hold on. Okay. It's gotta be his first time, right? Like, what is happening? Just go to the coin flip machine <laughs> and then wait while I figure out how to do this for the first time. I mean, uh, that's great, right? Just now, can you take your text message? I gotta confront him, I guess. Did you receive a barcode? This... Man, he, yesterday he acted like I don't want to do this. You know, I'm just a good guy in a bad, bad situation. And now today, he's just... Rose? Yeah, I'm here. Start it over, over there. Um... Oh, I see, you got, um... You have WhatsApp? Huh? You have WhatsApp, right? Ma'am, I don't need your WhatsApp thing. I told you to check your text message. I have sent you your barcode. Okay. Um, it looks like you took a picture of a laptop screen. Is that, does that sound about right? Yes, that is what I'm working at. Where do you think I'll be working? Is, is that pretty standard procedure? Ma'am, please put your number on the machine and start working. Oh, right. Okay, the same thing that. that you did earlier, do it yeah, again. I gotta do that again. I forgot. Um, you don't have all day. I don't have all day. Let's get right, it well, done. Well, I mean, I think you probably have more time than I do, but that's neither here nor there. Oh, almost nighttime. Uh, all right. Am I buying or selling or trade? Okay, buying. Buy. Buy, buy Bitcoin. Buy Bitcoin. Okay. Um. 
<clears throat> Alright, it's going through the whole thing again. It's got... Let's see. I pressed buy. And now it says terms and conditions. Stop and read this immediately. Click if on you okay. have been sent to this ATM to make a payment... Oh, Click I remember on this okay, one. man. Please don't fucking read... Click on I agree and go proceed with the next one. What was that, officer? Sorry. Couldn't hear you. Can you bring the phone close to your mouth? I said... Click on I agree or yes. Just go forward with it. You've read it already once. Yeah, well, it's just I have this thing because it says I gotta read it. I don't wanna... I don't wanna not just read it. Just click on OK. You know? Uh, okay, hold on. You know what, forget this. We're obviously gonna have to fix it in post anyway. So, um... Okay, it says stop and read this message immediately. Have you been sent to this agent? Ma'am, there is an option there. Such as... If there, ma'am, listen, fraud. listen, there is an option there. And it's us. Taxes. Oh, Utility the bills. There is an option Cars, there which says continue email, or OK or, or agree. Click on that. Stop. You are being scammed. Hang up. Wait. Click on I agree and continue. But I don't remember that part. Never send any Bitcoin to someone you don't know and haven't met. Scam disclaimer. Correct. If someone from the government is telling you to use this ATM. Ma'am, hold it on, is hold a on, scam. hold on. This ATM cannot be used to pay bills, transfer money, oh, or secure. Oh my God. Click if on, someone I is agree. talking to you on the phone, claiming to be from the government, and you wants you to use this ATM, they are lying. Hang up immediately. Oh, Click on I agree and continue. We are not liable for any loss if you continue to proceed to use this ATM. Are you, are you crazy or what? Are you crazy? You're out of your mind? Can't you f***ing hear? Uh, sorry, it's just... So, th I think we're at the wrong place. Officer, I think we you might be You are at the right place. Officer, I think we might be getting scammed. You are at the right place. Of uh, uh, officer, I think Click we're Click on I agree. Whoever told you that I needed to go here, I think might be scamming us. Because... I am telling you to click on if, agree right it now. It very specifically that this ATM cannot be used... You don't have to f***ing teach me what is it saying specifically, okay? You don't have to teach me. I think we're getting scammed. I, 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 I think... I think someone tricked us. I think the best thing I can do is just to get your entire account and everything getting f***ing frozen right now. And that would be the best thing to be done. Why would you do that, though? Oh, I will do it gladly now. But why? And get in your f***ing ex-husband, William the Scammer, as well. I'm innocent. Why would you freeze my account? I told you to click on I agree and proceed. For, for four hours. Why would you... Freeze my account? Now, just because I'm telling you to do something, rather than listening to me, you keep on talking. Stop talking and do what I'm saying. Sir, sir, with all due respect, I believe that... Click on I, I, I agree. I really think we Click on scanned. I agree. I mean, if I... Let me... <sighs> let me scroll back up here. One says, more time, if you speak in between the shit, trust me on that, you're never going to see the sunlight again. This is going to take a picture again. of this, because it says stop and read this message immediately. If you have been sent to this I ATM already to have make all the notifications anything, here, including an SSN officer, eBay, Airbnb, cars, Oh, that's not written there. That's not written there. Keep, keep, don't, don't make up stories there, okay? 
SSN fraud, taxes, utility bills, tickets, cars, eBay, Airbnb. Stop. You are being scammed. Hang up. Oh, jeez. Click on Sir, we're being agree. scammed. Oh, my Click God. On this is agree. insane. This is crazy. Click on agree. It's like we're breaking the fourth wall or something. I've, who told you to... Who Click told on you? agree. Why would I Click agree? Click on agree. We're, officer, we're being scammed. It specifically says that we can't use this know, to make payments right to the now. government. Wherever you are, you're going to get caught right now. Uh, you're going to get caught right now. You're, you're playing with me, huh? Wasted a lot of time of mine. What do you think? You're acting smart here? I mean... Are you acting smart here? I think I'm, reading is not exactly a, the qualification for being smart. Uh, most people can Click read. Click on I agree. On the screen, shut the f*** up and click on I agree. Why? I'm telling you to click on agree right now. You know what? The, la the laptop that I was working, that's a government laptop, okay? I sure. have put your information and generated Who a barcode for you. you. And if this thing is flip. not going to be getting there, I did it myself because that is the way of doing it. Who told right? you that, though? So you don't teach me what to do. You don't teach me what to do. Are you going to agree with it or not? Tell me that thing very clearly. Will this allow me to pay for my SSN fraud? Click on agree right now. If I click agree, will it let me pay for my SSN? Yes. But it says that if I've been sent to this ATM to pay for my SSN, ma'am, that I'm being I'm scammed. I'm requesting you again. Don't, don't pull my trigger and let me lose my cool on you. Trust me on this. You would regret it for your life. Um. I'm pretty cool. I don't, I'm not worried about you losing your cool. I have enough cool. You're not worried about? Uh, with all due respect, officer. Click I, on agree, ma'am. You're already on the, you're already on the machine. We are on the last step of it. Finish it up. It will give you a receipt. Again? Give me that receipt and the job is done. What was your name again, officer? My name is not William anyways. Right? Huh? Bitch. Is it John or what did you say your name was? Jonathan. Um. What resolution is your camera? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I don't know what resolution my camera is, but I, I'm trying to take a picture of this because I think you just got caught in 4K. I think I finally understand what that means. My grandson says that all the time. What? What? I said, I think you just got caught in 4K, right? You sent me here to make a payment, but this says that I can't use this to make a payment, so... I think you got caught in 4K. If you read it clearly, I'll tell you. If it is written there, and if you're reading it, then God, you I've need to understand. It has I... been very. This is going to show you. There is clearly saying that if anyone makes a cold call to you, to proceed with it. Okay. No, it we say never that. made a cold call to you. Okay, it is, ma'am, it is clearly written on the machine Wait, you put that if anyone is calling you, stating God, that... is this the winner POV? Is this what this feels like? Oh, man. It's, are you getting ratioed? I don't... God, I've never felt more alive in my life. Are you taking the L? Is that... Hmm. 
Hold on, let me send you a picture, because you... Did you... Hold on. You wrote this, right? You wrote what was on the, um... Ma'am, it is like a general warning about awareing the people who are getting victimized for any kind of scams like made kind by of scams? people by making calls, by making calls. Did I make any calls to you, ma'am? Did my yes. department make any calls to you? Yes. What? Are you drugged? Are you under any drug influence? Oh, no, this is Rose. This but you have a low, short, 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 uh, short, This is Rose. No, I think you, you are under influence of some drugs or something. Because you don't understand what you're talking. Um. Excuse me? You made a call to us. We didn't. Okay? You made a call. We didn't. Is this what mental gymnastics I think we're done is? here. Well, no, I'll tell you. I'm done here. Okay? Okay, I'm you texting you. You would get the next step in picture. a very beautiful way. Uh, I don't need your text. I don't need your screen. call. I'm reporting it right now, ma'am. I don't need you? it. I don't need it. But what but are you going to say? I'm trying uh, to help. Whatever I was trying to help you with, I'm all done. I'm done here. Now let the procedure go okay, its own officer, way. Okay, officer, I want to know. How is me paying you with Bitcoin going to verify anything? Ma'am, first of all, I would like to tell you the barcode that has been created. If you go to the next step of it, it's going to give you an option which says buying for someone else or buying for myself. You have to click on the one that says buying for myself. That is you. All right. It is going to your account. That is where the barcode is linked with. All right. That is how it's going to give you a receipt of it. And that's how this is going to get completed. Okay. Would you. You're do stuck you mind, on one single message. Do you, mind before you don't I do go that? to the There's next a one. There's a 1 800 number that I can call uh, for support. Maybe I'll call that and just check. Um. That's better. I'll call someone and get you checked up really fast. I'm done here. Thank oh, you. Like a, like a doctor? Or <laughs> what do you mean? I don't think he's going to answer anymore. The magic The magic jack user? Is that what it was about to say? I haven't heard that in so long. What? Oh, man. Wow. I didn't even know that still existed. Yeah, he's not going to answer. That's nuts. I doubt he'll answer if I call as uh, William now.
Ugh. I'm a little bit bummed. One thing that I wasn't anticipating and I didn't think about till right now is that uh I I'm not sure if he's ever gotten anyone to this part before. Although he seemed pretty eager to have me skip that message right away, so maybe he does know about it. For a minute I was thinking, "Oh man, I wish that I didn't tell him." But that I was watching a a video of what the screen looks like because I wanted to know what it looks like if he was if he was asking um and if he knew. But it was right there. I was just reading. Well, I did change the words a little bit, but uh so I'm like, "Oh man." But uh and you could tell that he was upset. He just kept saying, "Oh, Oh f oh oh frick, uh, like, hold on. But he kept saying, "No, we wrote that. Just accept it. We wrote it. Just accept it." But that is cool, though. I mean, um. I feel like these Bitcoin ATMs, I don't know a lot about them. I don't know anyone who's used them, so I probably shouldn't say anything about it. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say anything. Just take what I'm about to say with a grain of salt. Uh, I've only ever had scammers ask me to use them. And so it feels very like I'm, I'm what would you say? Uh, Clearly one-sided, but it they feel very like the average person. Uh, maybe isn't just going out and using them all day long, but it's cool that they have that message, though. Hopefully that'll help somebody. This is, I'm calling as William now, but he's not answering. The text now subscriber you are trying to reach is not available. Thank you for getting connected with PayPal. How can I help you? Oh, uh, shoot. I thought this was the Social Security Department. Hello? I thought I was calling Hello? the Social Security Department. I made a little bit of a mistake. Whoops. Uh, someone's talking about empathy for desperate people taking jo desperate jobs. Listen, I'm all about the empathy. I talked about it yesterday. And I had a little heart to heart with Justin yesterday. Social security. This is Officer Dominic. And now here he is today, you. screaming and threatening this old lady. So I don't know. I want to be Can empathetic and I want to be understanding, but it's rough. Hello. Uh, yeah, is uh, Justin Peterson there? Justin Peterson, you want to talk to Mr. Justin? Yeah. Okay, just wait for a moment. I'm going to transfer the call to him. And can you please specify me your name? Just, I tell him it's important. It's about the Social Security. We all are working on Social Security over here. So can you please tell me your Get name, sir, so phone, that I can please. transfer the call? Sir, you're talking to the officer over here, okay? Hello? Oh, now he's gonna hang up. Now he's hanging up. Maybe I shouldn't have yelled. <laughs> I was trying to think of, uh...
you know what? I guess, sorry, let me rephrase what I said. Because I think the empathy thing, like, I, I think there's a difference between, oh, they're just not answering. I think you can still have empathy. Uh, um, I suppose for this guy, though, uh, yesterday when we were talking to him and he was telling us his life story, and there's a little bit of like, yeah, maybe you are in a bad spot, right? Like, that sucks. Well, you shouldn't be scamming, but maybe maybe you can still choose to, to do we are sorry. to make better there choices, no one available right? To take your call. So it's hard when now he just straight up isn't, and he's it feels like he's even more scummy today than yesterday. And so th then you just lose, uh, but that's not empathy. That's like something else entirely. That would be saying, oh, well, he's a liar, <laughs> right? Yesterday, yesterday, uh, I was thinking, I don't know what's going to happen, but hey, maybe he does actually feel sad. And maybe yesterday he did feel a little bit sad, but today he doesn't care right and so you just see a little bit more of his true colors i guess um but yeah with empathy i suppose you could still uh, try to understand how he got to that point <sighs> doesn't justify what he's doing i suppose if you don't have the context of yesterday um that's why <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm not making sense, but we talked to him for a while after the stream and it felt like he was uh, being a little bit open about things and perhaps he wasn't. Yeah. Social security, this is officer. James, how can I help you? Uh, yeah, hi, hi. I'm trying to speak with uh, Officer Justin, please. Yeah, you want to talk to Officer Justin, right? Yep. Okay, so can you please specify me your name? Mary. Mary. Okay, Mary, just stay connected. We are going to transfer the call to Mr. Justin. He is, it looks like he's busy on another call. So can you please tell me about your concern? Yeah, it's me. He's on with me. We got disconnected. Okay, he is with you. So why are you calling him on this number? Because we got disconnected, so I need to talk to him. Okay, no problem. So I'm going to transfer the call to him. Oh, yeah, they're not going to. I think they know. He's probably just saying, like, don't I don't want to talk to anybody because they're just hanging up and. Maybe another day I'll be able to talk to him. Okay. Yeah, maybe another day I'll be able to talk to him. The Magic Jack Customer, you were trying to unavailable to take your call. Please leave a message. <laughs> the Magic Jack Customer. I'm really surprised. I shouldn't. Maybe I shouldn't say really surpri surprised, but I'm pretty shocked that he kept talking to me after he. Oh! Oh! Wait. Oh, I texted him as a rose and he said, call this other number and get help. I'm not doing anything else for you or I'm not doing anything anymore. He doesn't want to talk to me. So he was like, yeah, whatever. If you want to call the social security number, you can, but I'm not talking to you. But he's, he gave up. But yeah, he recognized that I was related to William. 
who called him out for being a scammer. But I guess he was just desperate enough, hoping enough that maybe, just maybe, <laughs> I would still fall for it. And it didn't work out. Oof, man. Well, I hope you learned some stuff today. Had a chance to laugh. I'm glad that he that he got worked up. Hopefully, I don't know. It's a pipe dream, but sometimes I hope that he'll be like, he won't want to. He's going to realize his scam is not going to work out. He's going to try to do something else. But learned about Justin. Yeah. That's for sure. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I'm looking through. He just had said. In the beginning, he told William he wasn't talking to anybody, and then I hung up on your wife because you said it was your ex-wife. Yeah. Oof. That's nuts. <laughs> I was hoping for a little bit different turn of events with that one, but it was still good to... A, a decent um, ending. And hopefully if if other... It sounds like there's not really anyone else talking to them, which is good. I don't think they're particularly experienced, but anytime I call that one guy answers, and if this guy had a bunch of other prospects, I'm sure he would have... <laughs> talk to somebody else right but thank you guys for hanging out um hope you have fun